Welcome everybody. Welcome to Alphism Radio. I am sorry about that. Um, there was a problem with the firewall on um, the relay server that I used to broadcast to all of you guys. So um, that problem has been fixed, and I, once again, I do apologize for that. Um, and uh, so we're just getting started. About we're about 20, about 25 minutes behind schedule, um, but um, we'll see if we can kind of make it up. Um, right now, I have actually a couple of people on the radio with me. Um, I have uh, Damon from JC Media Corporation, and we also got uh, Perfect Legend, um, the Dead or Alive Four winner uh, from Champion from last year's um, Evolution, and we also got FMJ, uh, one of the administrators for the SRK site. So, uh, actually, got a, quite a few participants, um, and then Triforce will be calling in in a little bit. So, um, all right, so. Before we get to, before I get to my questions, um, Damien, how about you just, you know, tell us what's going on, you know, so and just, we'll just go from there. All right. Um, well, basically, the reason why I wanted to get on was because uh, it's come to my attention that um, Michael uh, Gen Master Brandt has been spreading a lot of rumors about uh, whether or not JC Media Entertainment was going to make good on the uh, guaranteed cash money for uh, the tour that we're doing starting this weekend. Um, the answer to that is, yes, we definitely are. I mean, there's no way I'm going to have a, 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 a tour or a tournament and then not pay out the money. I mean, I might as well shut it off after the first stop if that was the case. Um, I think the, the, the fact of the matter is, first of all, I'll let everybody know, Michael... Brandt is no longer, Gen Master is no longer a part of this company. Um, he was let go uh, about two, three weeks ago. Um, I, you know, I try to keep it civil. You, know, you notice if you go to the website, there's a uh, article there saying that you know, he had to leave of personal, you know, for personal reasons. Um, but apparently he wanted to get immature about everything and you know, just show his immaturity and, and start, you know, spreading rumors and lies and calling up people. I mean, I've got people calling me on the phone saying, hey, I heard uh, Mike said that you guys aren't aren't going to have the tournament. And there's threads on DOA Central saying that, you know, we're not going to make good on on the tournament. There's, there's no there's no money. Or, you know, he's been telling people that we're broke and we can't, we can't even uh, afford to pay people money and this and that, whatever. I mean, this, this is ridiculous. Um, so the fact of the matter is he was let go. Um, because of his, I guess, illicit practices, um, you know, everybody knows he's been having issues. Uh, you know, I've been defending him since day one, trying, you know, trying to give him a chance. I mean, a lot of people, um, a lot of people, you know, obviously he's had a bad name for a while. Um, he and I hooked up about a year ago. Um, you know, he, you know, I know he had a bad rap, but he had never done anything around me or to me for me to, you know, Basically, I was trying to give him a second chance. Um, you know, I, I've been trying to steer him the right way, trying to, you know, I even, he, he was having some issues. I even took him in. He was staying here for a while, um, staying at my place for a while. Um, it's just, and then for him to go ahead and do all this stuff, I just feel like, you know, you give, give somebody a second chance. You look out for him. You do a lot of things for him. And then for them to stab you in the back this way is just kind of, you know, just, Kind of disheartening, but hey, you know what can you say? If he if he's gonna act that way, then can't say too much for him. But I do want to make sure that people do know that number one, he's not with us anymore, and number two, he's full of shit. Uh, we are we are still having the tour. We do have the money to pay out to pay out the prizes, and uh, anything from here on uh, is definitely unless you hear it from me directly, it's it's not the truth. I mean, I think a lot of people know that they can't necessarily trust what he says. And he's, you know, de been deemed a shady person <clears throat> for a while now. Uh, and I guess now I'm really seeing against me what, what they've been saying. I'm mean, not to say I didn't know. I mean, I wasn't naive. I didn't, it wasn't that I didn't know that he was full of shit to begin with. But, you know, he and I have had discussions where I'd be like, look, man, you can't do this and this and that, whatever. And, you know, I mean, basically, bottom line is uh, everything is going, going the way it's been planned. You know, um, just for to let the audience know, I actually did try to get Gen Master. I tried last night on a couple of uh, the, the the one aim name that I did know, and then I 
on when on some other ones um, that, that have been given to me, and I was not able to find them online to give his side of the story because, you know, like I said, you know, I'm always, um, you know, open to, you know, whatever people will have to say, you know, as long as it's done in a respectful manner. Um, I personally don't have, you know, a problem with Gen Master, but, you know, one of the things that did strike me, though, um, if someone were to ask me what do I think of him, um, if you guys remember back in October, he was supposed to have a weekly, um, a weekly thing on the radio. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. <clears throat> yeah, and that actually didn't materialize. The first Monday passed, and he was nowhere to be found. And and then he told me that you know, then he told me later there was some stuff going on, from going on, and then he apologized. And then after that, you know, he said, well, you know, I'm still going to try to get some stuff done, you know, you know. And he was talking about helping with the radio and everything, and then you know, that never really panned through. So I mean, so I mean, that did kind of like maybe go hmm. But again, I don't have anything personal against him because I don't know him personally, you know. I mean, I do. that's just how it is, you know, for me. Yeah, I mean, I guess the, the issue with him is he's very good for trying to start something or saying stuff or hyping things up, but he's not he's not good at following through. Um, and to add to that, he's definitely not good for his word. Mm -hmm. uh, he and I have had issues about that from day one. Where you know sometimes I had to call him on something for it to spur him back into action. Like you know, I was like, man, you said you were gonna do this. I, I guess I don't know if it, if, it, if it was because the fact that I was probably the one person in the industry that was that was giving him second chance. Maybe he felt like, okay, well, if if Damon's saying something, maybe I should go ahead and do it. But um, I don't know. It, it, it quickly stopped happening. Mm -hmm. I guess he just got tired of, of feeling like doing the right thing or whatever. But um, you know, and that's when our I guess our relationship started souring. Mm -hmm. no, I understand that. I mean, um, I uh, I know how it is. You know, being a manager, how it is when you have to terminate an employee. You know, it's um, really no easy way of doing it. You know, um, although, um, I mean, I, I'm I'm surprised. You know, am I surprised? I can't say I'm totally surprised by what he did, you know, it's just one of those things, though, you know, he gives himself no credibility, because the first thing I would ask him, if I had him on the show, is, you know, if you said that, you know, that he's not going to have the money for the prizes and all this stuff, how come you didn't say this while you were still part of the company, why is all of a sudden after you get dismissed, all of a sudden, you know, they don't have the money anymore, um, you know, that's why I tell, you know, you know, that's will be my, my, my burning question for him. Right. The reason is because he knows that the more people that come, is a better chance of him getting paid. So now that he knows he's not here, he knows he's not going to get anything from it. He's going to try to hurt us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that. You know, I understand that. And um, frankly, um, I just I, I've been in, in similar predicaments. And I mean, there's nothing there's nothing fun about it. And uh, you know, I just hope that. At you know, at some point down the road, you guys will be able to you know to squash it and just move on, you know. And uh, that's the thing, you know, getting people to move on, uh, you know, for for people that I have, you know, uh, written up and terminated. You know, I told them that you know use this as a a uh, as a learning um, tool, you know, to better yourself and to put yourself in better. It's like it's never over until it's over. You know, don't think that this is the end all be all. You know, you can't move on, and you know, and that's what you know. If anything, that's why I would, I would say to Jim Master if he was, you know, if he was here on the radio. Yeah, I mean, the the thing about it, the thing that bothers me the most about it is, number one, the dude had 50 million chances to straighten himself out, uh, and even to the point where, you know. He was letting his, his personal life affect what would happen with us. I'm not going to get completely into that. That's not necessarily my business to say. But, um, I mean, he he made his own bed. And now he's laying in it. And because he has to lay in his own bed, he's angry and decided he wants to go try to take it out on, on the rest of the people that, that were involved. When the fact of the matter is, he was hurting us. We, we, were, we tried to stop him from hurting us and himself. And because, hey, Damon, hold on for we, a second. We, I'm, yeah. I'm hearing some feedback noise, and I'm trying to see who it is. 
Yeah, so am I. Sounds like someone's outside. Is anyone listening to the radio while they're on the radio? Is anyone listening no. to the radio? It's not me. Nope. I am like. Uh, and my mic is muted. Yeah. It's been fine. It's going away now. Okay. Hello? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. So back to you, Damon. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, what I was saying is, uh, basically, he, he made his own bed. Now he's being forced to lay in it. He's taking it out on everybody else around him. So the thing that you know that for, for that you want to get across to the listeners tonight is that you know if whatever you hear about JC Media, um, the company, and it's not on their official site or come from your mouth, um, that uh-huh. it, you know that it should not be it should not be regarded as truth. Um, That's true. I, and you you, know. I would even go as far as to say that, in addition to what you just said. We we have our official posts and we, we post on different boards as JC Media. If if or, or um we, we have a new new promotions coordinator, um Cash. I know a lot of people in the tech community know who he is, uh David Vincennes is Cash. Um he represents us as well. If uh if you hear if you see J C Media next to the tag, other than J J C Gin Master or Gin Master or J Time, um, that's most likely the truth. And if you need to, you can go on a website or you can email us at info at, at jcmedia.com <clears throat> and we'll definitely get back to you. <clears throat> I hear you. I hear you. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, that's you know what? That's unfortunate, though. I, I'm, it's unfortunate that it had to turn out like this, you know, although I can't say I didn't see the handwriting on the wall. What to me, what 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 I thought he did that probably you know kind of hurt JC Media is when he made all those guarantees uh, on uh, for the for the Buy dot com tournament. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, you know, being of a business mind, I know that you know guarantees that's something you almost never make. You know, so I mean, but it's one of those things where, um, you know, but I mean that's just his lack of experience. I don't think that was like anything you know intentionally flagrant to. JC Media, but I just didn't think that you know that he had the business mind to work, um, you know, as an executive part of the company, you know. So, yeah, I mean, Mike is an idea man. Kind of <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? Mike, Mike is good at coming up with ideas, but he's not necessarily good at executing them. And that's unfortunate, though, because yeah, you, you know, say he doesn't have a business mind. I say he doesn't have any kind of mind. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's one of those things where you know, as tell people, it's like you know, if you have ideas that you don't act on, then you might as well not have the idea at all, because it doesn't do no good. You know, it's just like having. Imagine if you have a billion dollars, but you can't spend it. Well, what's the freaking point of having a billion dollars? Man, you know what Jim Master would do if he had a billion dollars? He's like, guys. Be time five. Let's hold at Madison Square Garden and fly at all these players. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I don't you know, know how many people actually turn out. Where he's like, you, you know, know what? we're going to we're going to have a tournament on Thanksgiving called Turkey Time, and we're going to have turkeys give to everybody at the tournament. You know what's funny is he actually said that. Yep. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! So, it was even funnier as he's got that voice almost down pat. <laughs> That's scary, huh? <laughs> That's scary. Um, uh. But um, yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty much. You know, it's like stuff like that. You know, I mean, like I said, I, I if hey, if I have a billion dollars, the first thing I do is like buy myself a big house, and like, and then like have gaming nights like Preppy has them. You know, yeah. every weekend or something, you know. And, um, but, you know, it's one of those things where, um, you still gotta be, you know, he, you, you gotta follow through what you say, you know. You know, you know, your word is your bond. You, you hear that, you know, so. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, that's very important. Uh, unfortunately, I know, I know he's trying to make it in this business, but he's muddied everything he's been involved with. And it's to the point where, I mean, I'm not sure, I can't speak for the public, but, I mean, after this, after he's he's dismissed from JC, 
I'm wondering how anybody's ever going to go to any one of his events and, and, and trust that it's going to happen the way it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? No idea. No idea. No idea. I'm echoing. I'm echoing. I mean, I, I, and honestly, I mean, I, I'll be the first person to say he pissed me off probably more than he's pissed anybody else off. I don't um, know. Well, okay. Well, maybe I won't say that. But what I will say is... That, I don't know. Alex Strife probably got you beat on that. That dude has like no, a seething... No, I don't know, man. I think I got both of y'all beat. Okay. Seething right, well. hatred. The, the, first, the, the, cup, the three times I've had him on the show, I mean, the seething hatred is just there for Gen Master, you know? Yeah. Okay, well maybe I won't go that far, but I will say that basically what I was trying to say is I still kind of feel bad for him because I feel like the dude has officially ruined himself in this industry. I mean, he, he's completely destroyed it. I mean, when, when we have this Memphis event and everybody gets the money that they're owed for winning, mm-hmm. I mean, what, what is he going to say then? And then the people who canceled their trips or their tickets... Or decided they're not going to come, or that might have had a chance of winning or placing, but just didn't because of what Mike said. They're going to they're, they're be pissed. Now I feel sorry for them too because they they lose out. Gen Master. Hmm. Oh, I thought someone said something. Uh, no. I said no, but it's one of those things where you know I, I still held, I still hold out that people can change, you know, for the better. And um, and and it's one of those things where maybe uh, through life experience, life teaches you things that no one else can teach you, and um, you know maybe that you know he will mature more and follow through what he says and realizes how he acted in the past. And you know, I mean, one of those things is I I try not to hold people, you know, forever accountable for what they've done. You know, I mean, because I don't think it's that serious. Uh, with the only exception being my father, because uh, that dude like royally fucked me over. So, um, so that I'm sorry, I have to hope, put that at his doorstop. Plus, he's, you know, he's what, you know, 29 years older than I am. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, I hear you. Well, I mean, I guess that goes to show it's like it's kind of like, uh, you know, fool me once, shame on me, shame on me, you, fool me twice, shame on. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah, even get out yeah, I hear you. I mean, but, I mean the thing. Is, remember, remember when I got on your show? I think it was last September or August or something like that. And uh, I, I had it so that he officially apologized to uh, DSP. Mm, yeah, I remember that. Remember that? And he was supposedly turning over a new leaf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. See, that's what that's what my mind goes back to when he's apologizing, saying he wasn't going to do that crap anymore. Which is, this is almost exactly what he did to um, to uh, what was it called? Um, Evo, not Evo East. Uh, damn, the break. What's what's the what's the event called? It the break for some for some reason I'm drawing a blank. Clash. No, not Clash. Um, the one that happens every every it's supposed to happen every Memorial Day weekend, but they he got ECC. swallowed up by Evo East this year, huh? ECC. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for some reason I was drawing a blank. Well, last year when he held that Tekken tournament during ECC, this is yeah. almost the exact same thing. He's purposely trying to hurt the attendance at one event by doing something by doing something of his own, and that's mm-hmm. exactly what he was apologizing for. But he's doing it again. Hmm. You know, I mean, I'm. Shoot, you know what? I almost say we always we already wasted too much time on them. What else going on, man? <laughs> uh, not much. Uh, just just the fact that we're, uh, uh, like I was saying before, we're starting our um, Underground Gaming Series tour um, this weekend. Uh, first stop is Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, the prize structure is, uh, well, first of all, we're doing um, Gears of War uh, 2v2. We're mm-hmm. doing Virtual Fighter 5. Tekken 5 DR, uh, DOA 4, and Guitar Hero 2. Um, all, all, um, all, I, go ahead. No, no. Um, you told me that you were going to have a Tecmo Super Bowl tournament. Um, that is going to be a exhibition event only for the uh, Tecmo Super Bowl vets. 
Oh man, I was hoping that'd be like one. Of, I mean, I'm I'm seriously going to bring back the hype for Techno Super Bowl. Well, what we were hoping is if we got a good enough turnout, people who wanted to go, we would have it at the grand finals in in uh, Atlantic City. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, the the uh, grand prize will be a, a, a signed Ronnie Lott jersey. Nice. <laughs> Wait a minute, is he still alive? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's still alive. I think his son was playing for the Raiders for a little bit. Oh, really? You know what? Sons of famous football, great football players never work out. That is true. I think he lasted like two seasons, two or three seasons. Yeah, and because um, I was just... Cause you know, the more I thought about it, I was like, you know, look at Archie Manning, who was actually not that great of a quarterback. And but, his sons are, are nasty, except for uh, Eli. Yeah, Eli is like, well. To me, he, you know what? Eli is special. And I really do mean that. I mean, he looks special. Like, you know, he has this look on his face where, I, uh, 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 yeah, it's a short but special. So, um, that's, that's, been, that's what he remembers, reminds me of, you know. Peyton's fine, you know, just Eli, just a little bit, just, I think his mom might have been, you know, doing the pregnancy for Eli, cause, yeah. It, yeah, that's, that's not too uncommon amongst uh, NFL players and wives, I'm sure. Especially back in that, those days. Let me ask you guys a question, you know, since we're on the topic of sports. Uh-huh. Um, you know, uh. What would you do if you, Marvin Lewis, the head coach of the Bengals, and half your players are about to get locked up? What would you do? I don't know. I'd probably do something like the replacements. <laughs> Damn. Oh, hope that they're not getting locked up with Jim Mass. That's wild. Oh, that's not even right, man. Why you had to go there? <laughs> I don't know See, I wasn't man. going. I wasn't going to go there. See, you had to go in. I don't know, man. It, by, man by the way, you know, since you I don't get, know. He, he has some cases of homo in his bloodstream. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, that, by the way, I'm letting people know. Um, you know, I am going to evolution this year. I repeat. I repeat. You ain't repeat doing this. nothing. I yeah yeah. Fuck you. I am. I am going <laughs> to evolution this year, and I'm gonna have a hotel. Believe me when I say this. I am not sharing my bed with nobody. Jim With the love exception doing of Duck's wife and Angela. So if you don't look like either of them, then fuck you. Wait, and so I you am saying, not going you, to be hey, you ever been to New York? Huh? You ever been to New York? No, I've never been to New York, actually. Okay, there's this place called The Village. I can introduce you to people. some girls from The Village. Uh, no, well, I'm just... For some I, reason, that doesn't sound like it's a good idea. Yeah, I was going to say... <laughs> no. Now I am not sharing. I am not sharing my bed with nobody, and I'd be fucking damned if I'm actually going to sleep on the floor in the hotel room I'm paying for. So I'm just letting that know. That shit is definitely not fun. Yeah, so I let you know when I said, "Don't sleep in my bed. Don't sleep in my bed. If you sleep in my bed, you're gonna get a real nasty practical joke played on you, and you will not like it." Hey, hey Bunker, when you coming to a UGS stop, man? Um. Um. Dang. Um. <laughs> 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 um. I, I mean, I you know I only got so much vacation time. So, stay on the weekends, man. On the weekend, you act like I, I live right around the block from where you're hearing hold, holding these tournaments, man. I hear you, man. It's cool. I mean, it's like, it's like, I am taking a week off. I'm leave. I mean, like, that, the Wednesday before Evolution to the Wednesday after Evolution, I'm going to be taking off. Okay. So, um, and, uh, I mean, we should fun. be there, too. Yeah, yeah. So and you're I'm, bringing Angela with you to Evolution. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Angela is, is going to be there. Oh, man. Can't wait. I can't yeah, wait. Once you guys see, ooh, once you see her little petite ass, ooh. and hang out with her, yeah, <sighs> yeah. And then I'm gonna sleep, slip her a certain drink. No, uh, anyway, back to the subject at hand. Yeah, I am not sharing my bed with. No, I am not playing you, Neiman, for a third strike and third strike for a spot in my bed. No, 
No. Uh, Sounds you know pretty what? gay. No. He's like, just move over. It'll be okay. No. <laughs> no, no. no, 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 no it it, it no, won't I'm be okay. I'm surprised that we haven't got a call from D. Every time I get on, DSP calls in. Where are you, man? <laughs> I don't think DSP is actually online tonight, actually. He, oh, he, man. So, well, I messaged Moses. him earlier. I think I did, yeah. But um, no, I don't think it's online. Oh, Jasmine! Jasmine's cool. Jasmine's cool. She can sleep in my bed too. You know, Who's Jasmine? I, 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 I should, Jasmine's an East Coast CBS two player. She'll fuck you up. Wait, what? She's an East Coast CBS two player. She'll fuck you up. Oh, yeah. where in the East Coast? Yeah. Where in the East Coast? I think she lives like in Boston or something. Okay. Well, yeah. We got a Boston stop. We're gonna be in Boston in July. Don't no, fuck with that's Jasmine. That's good because that's the first CGS. I mean UGS I get to go to. Don't no, fuck with Jasmine. What do you go. mean? Don't. What are you talking about? You you don't tell me no. She cut you smooth. <laughs> Do you not know who I am? Yeah. I'm promiscuous Carl. <laughs> You're promiscuous not Carl. It's not Carl, huh? Uh-huh. That's... So if there's two legs in a hole, you got a deal. <laughs> Arms are optional. Yeah, silly. Oh, man. You, you recording this, man? Yeah. <laughs> Promiscuous Carl, he makes Promiscuous Carl. Mate, you know what? <laughs> I am not going to be calling you that. Hey, Promiscuous! No, no I'm not going to be calling you like that. What'd you call another man delicious? <laughs> you know what? You know what? I violated my own. I lied. I said I would never call another man delicious, but then I realized that I've been on the, few, on, I've been on the show a few times and I was talking about Cody Licious, and that's delicious. Cody Licious. You know, and I didn't realize that. Yeah, so there's a there's a Seattle player here, Marvel player. His name is Cody Licious. I am even aware that there was a connotation there. But um, now I am not sharing my bed with anybody. Don't get any ideas, and you know, don't try to play me for um, for a spot on the bed. Don't try to don't try to bribe. Well, if you, if you got enough money, you might be able to bribe me. But I doubt you got that much money. So anyway, in other words. Like, come on, man. No homo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know there's going to be no homo. I'm going to be wearing my steel chastity belt. <laughs> like, you put your dick near there if you want to. You're going to come up with some <laughs> opposition. Like ding! Ooh! Shoot. Sorry about that. Ding! Ding! Hey, you, you want to go camping? Yeah, yeah. Make- by the way, people, since you mentioned that, I asked both of these people off, air, you know, off air. I'm like, hey, if you both went, were, went camping, you woke up economy ass. Would you tell anybody about it? They're like, oh hell no. You want to go camping? They didn't get it. They didn't get it at first. I got it. I just I wasn't thought, trying. I, I said go camping, but then you said like, would you kill yourself? And I was like, no. Yeah. I said, would you tell anyone? No. You said kill. It's no, like, no, so I didn't. I was like, yes, I'll kill myself. You know what? 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 Man, I should have had that shit recorded. See, this is why I had shit recorded. I can catch people in their own lives. <laughs> you had no proof at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, shit. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't see any point in telling anybody. You're just going to give yourself a lot more, more problems. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, the, the oh, problem, actually, the answer is, the, actually, the answer is that she's supposed to, like, yeah, I'll tell the police, the FBI, the secret agents, you know, whatever. But um, I, I definitely would not be telling, you know, somebody, you know, you know, you really wouldn't tell somebody, you know. Dame is like, I keep but that you, shit hidden. Forever. But you know I what? Even tell the police. But you know what though? <laughs> that kind of reminds me though, because there is a serial rapist out there, in out in Texas. Gin and, Master, yeah, I heard about damn, him. Damn, you know what? You wrong. Now this dude's black, hey, and he's been going him. around, and he's been raping other dudes in his own house. Damn. Hey. You know, I, I just thought, man, that's, that's, yeah, that's how you make dang, some money now. That's pretty dang um, bold, you know. Um, no, no pun intended, but you got a pretty, you got some pretty big nuts if you gonna go around trying to rape people in their own houses. Now, you know how most people say, you know, you want to shoot me before you rape me. How come they? Have, how come the cops didn't find a bunch of people with bullet holes in their head, and you know, in their bed? <laughs> he probably got them in their sleep and tied them down or something. Damn, I'm just like easy access. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. man, hey, you fucked up. Like you hey, wake hey, up, uh, 
Hey, Carl, you know, man, you know, where, where, where's Triforce and all them people that are supposed to be getting on? Remember, he was talking about he wanted to get he on. Was, he, he said he'll come back in like 20 minutes, but that was like Ohio. 30 minutes ago. Hell, let me call him. Let me call him. That was all like, right. yeah, it's, it's been about 20 minutes, actually. Go out with Sandrox. That sounds just like... Hey, hey, you supposed to send me that slap. Oh, I, no, that's not mine. That's not mine. That wasn't mine. Huh? Who had the slap though? Um. I'm hey, are sure. you getting on? Someone had the man. The f- someone was playing the slap thing over and over again. So I know someone has it. I think it's somebody that. that yeah, we're on right now, man. You need to call in now. I get you want the number. Oh yeah. Don't tell me you you're calling about ten, fifteen minutes. What? Oh, okay. Okay, time for the lecturer. All right, yep. He's saying 10 to 15 minutes, so pretty much we got, you know, brace ourselves, stuff. For another hour? I don't know. He's, he's, he's walking to the house right now. I was like, okay. Mm, I was like, have somebody logged in under his account? Huh? Somebody logged in as him? No, he left mm-hmm. this thing open. Right. Mm-hmm. Right, I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing. By the way, there's 37 of you people out there listening. How about one of you calling in? The number is 425-738-6216. You know, give us 69, your... please. Um, by the way, Skype is free. I can have up to nine people on at once. And right Jeez. now, I only have three people on. So, come on, people. Call hey, what's in. What's going on, FMJ? We're, I mean, we don't hear anything from you. FMJ is, you know, very quiet. T- contemplating how he's going to take over the world. Um, FMJ. Uh, actually, I think he has his his mic on mute because whenever he whenever his mic is not on mute, we get this bad echo. Oh, okay. Yeah, because he refuses to buy a new microphone. Well, I just came on because the radio wasn't working. <laughs> and you know, if there's anything else I can jump in, you know, that'll be bonus. Oh, all right. So in other words, he doesn't really want to be part of the show. He just there no, I like now. to be here. You know, just observing, seeing what's going on, and you know, if there's something I can come in on. I'll unmute again. Well, why don't you give us your opinion on what's what's been said so far? Do you think Jim Master is gay? Um, let's take a <laughs> poll. Or, or 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 would you tell anybody if you woke up with a condom in your ass? That's a very gay subject. <laughs> You've probably heard me ask that question before. I mean, that's like the second most asked question behind the Ray Charles thing. What's the Ray Charles thing? You don't know the Ray Charles thing? Wait, wait, wasn't that like the million dollar question? Okay, all right. Damon, Damon. Uh-huh. For $5 billion, would you would you fuck Ray Charles' corpse? No. <laughs> Why not? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I would not do it. Because, because you know what, I wouldn't be able to live with myself after doing that crap. I don't care how much money I had. Five billion. Five billion dollars. With the Doctor Evil pinky thing. I think you know what, for five billion dollars, I might do it, and then I would have to pay to erase everybody else that knew about it. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's well, only man, fair, so you know. So in other words, uh, that's thirty nine <laughs> people right now. So. <laughs> well, if, like, rap you did, there was a, a Damon Scott and Ray Charles porn, and you, like, holding up his corpse, and, like, while you posing in the fucking cast. <laughs> like, and, and you got some fucking cowboy boots on and a shovel on your back. You <laughs> oh, oh shit. Much- about these type of things, man. Oh, no, man. You I know what? I forgot how. You know what? The thing about it, though, is like, it's one of those things, though. It's it's really interesting. I have gotten so much debate over that, that, that you know, that question. Because about half of the people said yes. Not sure, I would say more than half people said yes. You know, I mean, come on. I mean, you're all talking about $5 billion. You know, you know, to me, you know, it's just all about putting those bony ass legs over your shoulders and going to work. You know, um. Ugh, man. But. Man, you got a strategy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, I don't think you're gonna be able to do a um, doggy style. I mean, so I mean, hey, oh no. Either, <laughs> either way, you put it in his ass. 
I mean, I mean, it's true. I don't nasty. think you'll be able to get him Perch on his knees, asking. though. Perch was acting, oh, uh, how would you feel if you had a condom in your ass and you woke up? Now you're talking about fucking some dead dude's corpse. For $5 and million, dollars, and it's doing. already said. That no, man. I don't hear your excuses. <laughs> no, I'm a fiscal homosexual. In other words, for $5 billion, I don't care who it is. You in trouble. You said a fiscal homosexual. Damn, what about Gin Master? $5 billion? Yes, he better run. Damn. I, I he better run. <laughs> he better run fast. He, he better really go he back under that second name he got, you know, and hope I never find him. I think right about now, Mike would do it for about 20 years. Hey, hours. man, somebody just asked me how long would you have to fuck Ray Charles for to get the money. Until you bust one. Until you come. Okay. That's fucking gay as hell. No, I would I'm gay for my money. Shit. I'm gay for my money. All right, help change the enough. subject. That's the best aphrodisiac you can ever give me is $5 billion. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like shivering and shit. That shit is disgusting. <laughs> It is disgusting, but $5 yes, billion dollars is... It aura of smell first. You know, that's fine. Hold your breath. In fact, you know, that's supposed to be... That's supposed to help, you know. You be literally mashing his guts in. Mm. All right. I am. Carl, that was probably the most graphically disgusting... You know, movie. and you talking about <laughs> me being explicit. Look at the hell you doing. You talking about <laughs> pushing his guts back in, you know. <laughs> You know, that don't that don't even sound right. You know. <laughs> He's like squish squish bitch. Oh man. I mean, come on, I mean <laughs> No. Yeah, that's right. Chosen <laughs> got it right. It pays to be a one minute man. <laughs> you know, you no, may call hey for the people that are listening you're right one minute now. Man, so it won't last as long. But damn, if there's any women listening, it won't make you sound too hot, you know. I mean, by well, the people. You don't sound so, top because you talking about fucking some dead dude's court. You know what? Let me let, let me let me make this clear for all those who are listening right now. I know that okay. you might be offended by the subject matter, but yeah, I, I want I you to sit back, somebody and, sit back and, and think. Five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. Would you not have to think hard, long and hard about it? I mean, come on. I mean, you know, some things. You know, hey, you know, you just got to get over. And I just. I am from somebody in that he'll call in with get off the next really like rat that rape time. Damon, you are like uh breaking up. Actually I can hear myself too. And him. He... Yeah, I think that's all righty. Alright. <laughs> We're through with that subject. <laughs> I mean, but something for you guys to think about. Okay, uh Dark Force just said he's coming on in a second. Okay. So here we're gonna have Hey. Maybe I can uh, ask Triforce and maybe ask Bunky, why uh are me and Damon having echoes? I have no idea. Why y'all looking at me? Cause you talking about Ray Charles and his dead ass corpse. And and for some reason while we was talking about that our voices got stupid. So I'm like, what? Is it a curse or some shit? Somebody trying to record it. Oh You know what? You oh, there know, we go. The funniest actually just going back to that subject for a second. The funniest response I got from that question was, as long as he don't mind. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. I am ready. All right. I'm ready for, no, for what's face to come on. All right. Are you ready to try for us? You know, right now he probably... Do you be yourself? <laughs> Go out with Sandrax. Oh, uh, <clears throat> all right, man. You can come on now. Hey, hey, have you checked out the uh, the the recent Dead or Alive four thread and fine game discussions? It's pretty nice too, huh? Yeah, I know. What are you saying? I forgot what you were saying. No, what were, what were they saying on the thread? Oh, what, well, it was pretty much me and X Destruction describing DOA to people and ignoring people and address and talking to people. You know what? Actually, um, I, I do want to tell you what I, I'm going to tell you what I think when I when when I see when I see Dead or Alive Four, like when I see screenshots of it or see the game in motion. You know, all I can think of is. 
That's your cue. Ass, titties, ass and titties. Ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. Ass, titties, ass and titties. Ass, ass, titties, titties, ass and titties. That's what they get. Come on, pump the pump to the end of the game. Ready when I see ass, titties. Oh, it's like the shit the club, dog. You gonna play when you fuck Ray Charles in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Huh. Damn, man, you mix that shit with Tetris. I think, I think Piper is going to get I was just about it. I was just thinking about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Triforce would be I, offended if you. you, you, you. You know that's his Rick game. That's all the Tetris thing. Every, every time I see Triforce, he's got his Nintendo DS and he's playing Tetris on that joint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ass, titties, ass and titties. I already played shit at the club. This fat white girl came out of fucking blue. I don't see how fat people can, like, just appear out of nothing and just be like, hey. Here's a kid. Who's Pixel? The fuck. Random. Yeah, somebody just got <laughs> Hey, what's up? This is FMJ. Alright, somebody's calling in. Welcome to Outfits and Radio. Who's this? It's Triforce. Why do you guys play that song all the time? You are very I haven't old. played. I haven't played this song in a hell of a time. Hey, man, you need to send me that shit over A. <laughs> what? I can give you a I link to it, actually. Shit. I can give you a link to it. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's the shit I like, the link. That's right. That's a great song. I don't know why you why you hating on the song. I'm not hating on the song. I want no, the no, song. No, no, no. I'm talking about Triforce. Triforce, speak up, oh. by the way. No one can hear you anyway. Oh, no one can hear me? Yeah, because you, 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 you sound kind of low, so. Like, speak. Oh, my yeah, you sound all depressed and shit. You're lively. <laughs> I'm not tired. Yo, you know the roof of my store caved in on Sunday? Fucking upstairs fell downstairs. People can't not hear you, man. Yeah, we can't hear you. Yeah, the roof, he yeah, said the roof can. from his store caved in. Yeah. Damn, who did it? This dude no, that took a shit. Um, it was the Covenant. One of the, 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 <laughs> the wood beams of the store actually cracked. And um, the drop ceiling dropped in, and like the fire department had come in. I think one of those guys stole actually a zoom during the cleanup. Oh damn! That's it. Yeah, I know that's real fucked up, but whatever. Uh, we just fixed, um, put a new drop ceiling in yesterday. That's gamer. You forgot oh. bowling. That's in Tetris. What? Oh, nothing. No, my bad. Hey, uh, Triforce, man, I, I don't know what, what you're going to do, but people can barely hear you, you know. Everyone else I can hear them now. I mean, but they can't. So. Who's CDS? What? Well, blah. They can't hear uh, me? That would be me. Hi, person. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better? Damn, yeah. I got to talk like this? Yep. That's yeah. loud. Okay, Let's pretend the DSP um, is on the line. Hey, use Justin's phone. Yeah, man, so, oh, man. Oh, try to raise your voice up like you did on people. at Night Clan, man. You was hella yeah. loud on Night Clan on Friday. Who the fuck is that? That's Tech Monkey. Uh, Who? Yeah. Tech Monkey. Tech Monkey. Hey, Tech, what's up? Yeah, what's up, Triforce? <laughs> right. Yo, what was that? What was all that drama about on, on Friday? You got you was mad loud. Hey, man, no disrespect, but you sound like Meatball. Who? <laughs> Oh! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you talking about uh, Aqua Team? Yeah. Uh, That's great. Yeah. All right, go ahead. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not, some guy, some guy was arguing with me about. All right, first of all, Coop, there's this guy called Kubu. He's from VA. He plays Smash Brothers, right? And he's, uh, he's a Link player. And um. As a Link player, it's hard for Link to return back to the stage once he gets knocked off because of his limited jump ability. And I was talking to Kubo, and I just, meant, I just made a statement. I said, it's kind of funny, like, 
Link, the way Link um, loses mostly in Smash Brothers is not because someone actually outfights him, and um, and like because there's a there's a level where in the game what where you, if you get smashed you're dead. It doesn't matter how uh, what your ability is to return back to the stage. You just lose. But Link nine times out of ten gets dumped off the stage at, w with early percentage, and he just doesn't have the ability to jump back to the stage. So he misses and he dies. So I mentioned that to Kubu. And this guy called Alejandro now turns around and says, why don't you stop complaining? And I looked at him like, what the fuck? First of all, wasn't talking to him. That's number one mistake. The second mistake is that I was talking to Kubu. Third mistake, that he said that to a black man. So I'm like, okay, that's three strikes, and I'm, I'm upset. So I'm like, what the hell? I said, yo, dogs, I'm not even talking to you guys. But you're just complaining, man. You're complaining about a game you don't even know about. And then he's like, stay in your box. So now I'm upset. It's like he some said, stay in your box? Like, stay in my box. Oh, no. <laughs> these, these young cats, these, these young cats, man. I'm like, I now I understand how some of the other OGs feel. That's why they keep playing. Because some of these young cats, they, they be coming out of their box. And you got to slap these mother... Man, yeah, man, we got to stick together. Guys. Gotta put these guys in. <laughs> yeah, they're all it's old schoolers, that's right. Carl, you're 19. What are you talking so? about? So? I've been around for forever. Okay, anyway. But, so, I told. Uh, Daisy said hi. I tell her I said hi, too. Hold on, she don't hey, tell her I said hi, too. Hey, what's up, Carl? What's up? Uh, Sky and stuff. Hey, I don't get a hi either? Nope. Oh, oh shit, hold on for a second. And then let's say hi. Hi. Hey, what's going on? No comment. So, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's this? What is this about Triforce? What is it about you going off um, going off on somebody over, over a sandwich at Evolution? Going off on someone over a sandwich at Evo? Yeah. I don't recall any such thing. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so <laughs> Over a sandwich. That was Over a sandwich? <laughs> oh, man. Um, who, who else is on there? I see somebody else on there. Pixel. Who's on oh, oh, yeah. CSDZX1? That's Tech oh, Monkey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. All I remember from Evo is what he said to Sanford. Do you be yourself. Go out with Sandrax. I don't even know what the fuck you guys are talking about because I never said nothing like that. You and did? You, you admitted to it. You, you admitted to it. Up. I didn't even say it. Yo, you're doing it wrong. I didn't even say it like that. That was fucking up the Jamaican accent. That's another no, thing. Go get Bill. Go Jamaican. get Bill right now. He's in the house. I know he no, is. No, I'm not getting Bill. I'm leaving Bill right in the living room. Yo, straight up. No. Because the problem with you guys, are, every time y'all try to mimic the Jamaican accent, it's horrible. I can mimic everyone's accent. People thought I was no, Gin Master no. for a second. <laughs> no, the only one that can do Gin Master is Red. Red does the perfect Gin Master. Shit. No, no, no. You gotta hear my Gin Master. No, you, you gotta no, hear my Gin Master. Red does the perfect Gin Master. You gotta hear my Gin Master. Nah, your Gin Master is nothing. Trust me, I'm telling you. Hey, Red man, you wanna come to my tournament? <laughs> Touch the time. <laughs> The, the only reason why we're laughing is because Mike always tries to act so to come to his tournament. It's not because you sound like it. It's just because we all know he like he always asks that question. Oh yo, Damon. Um, um, I heard um like Jim Master signed over V Time Three to you guys. No, V Time Two. That is guys. true. Jim Master did sign V Time over to JC Media and Entertainment. Oh, so there will be no V Time tournaments unless it is done by JC Media and Entertainment. Ah uh, ha ha. Hey, sign that show over me now, so you can piss them off even more. We're, we will be doing a V-Time in November. <laughs> does this mean, sure that, does this mean that, that Gym Master is banned from any tournament that you're sponsoring? That is true. Gym Master is banned oh, from my site also. Well, let me put it this way. Gym Master can participate in one of our tournaments... However, if he wins, he owes me 80% of whatever he makes. That shit needs to be a Why? Why? Why you Yeah. That's just some random thing I just said because I want he owes me money. 
He owes everyone money. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, because then he, he still owes rent for the over here. <laughs> Wait a minute! Oh yeah, yeah, he owes rent. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. That Hold on, rent. Hold on for a minute. Time out, time out. That is that is a classic right there. Try for Hold on. He like, hey, he oh, owes rent over here. I I take precedence. This is like this is like being at work and you have all these people arguing who's gonna get the person's house. You know what we need to do is we need to give this dude a debt consolidation plan. And if everybody get a little piece of whatever comes out, it, percentage will be based upon however much he owes each person. No, no. Well, hey, Jim has to owe you a lot because one, he's a huge cock blocker. Two, <laughs> he's gay. And he's a cock blocker. Those are two negatives. Three. Hey, what's up, Alex? It's Kraken, man. What's, uh, what's a good word? Talking about Game Master right now. <laughs> Uh, your your boy, huh? Or no, that's not somebody ex somebody's ex boy. <laughs> yeah, ex boy. There you go. All right, what's going on, man? It's David. It was what's up, man? How you how you doing, dude? Everything good? Everything uh, better now or? Uh, I, I better yeah. Not where I wanted to be, but better. <laughs> Ooh, wait, yeah. wait, which Alex is it? Alex Valle. Oh Valle. Oh okay. I'm like oh, I thought it was P S I. Oh, bro. <laughs> No, 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 man. No worry. It's not a tax collector, man. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> I get those calls all the time, too, bro. <laughs> and that fool, I don't know, dude. That guy, has, that guy gets access to random people's numbers, too, dude. It's kind of kind of annoying here and there. Anyways, fucking what? Last I heard you guys were talking about fucking Ray Charles. It was pretty disturbing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, could you never could you never talk about that again, dude? <laughs> well, I mean, hey, listen, listen, Alex. It's one of those things where it's just things that make you go, hmm. Uh, that's all that. that that's what it makes you well, go, hmm. Oh, so check it out, man. I mean, I used to ask this to everybody that I meet. Hey, would you, to a guy, I would say, hey, would you fuck another dude or somebody actually that we know for a million dollars, you know? And I think I got like 70% said yes. Mm, See, well, this is, one, I don't know if it's quite 70%. And no, although fucking, they, I mean, they, don't get me they wrong. Have, they have certain questions, though. They're like, will anybody know? <laughs> uh, will you know? And then I'm like, hey, just answer the question. <laughs> and then, like, eventually they say yes. Eventually. They, they don't say yes at first. And then they look at their life, and they're like, fuck, how much money can I possibly make? <clears throat> this can't. So, well, um, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? D Damon actually But when you're talking no. about, like, fucking... <laughs> I'm saying when you're talking about fucking, you know, one of our our legends in time, man, you know, that's kind of like a little disrespect, you know? No, 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 because you know the thing about it though is, um, I don't know if I don't really don't know, I don't, I really don't know if Ray Charles will mind, you know, um, but you know, he might mind. He might only want somebody with talent to to mess around with him. So what the hell? <laughs> so now you're matchmaker? No, I, and that, yeah, the neighbor feel like matchmaker. Match ma you're the the, the <laughs> solemnly matchmaker. <dude>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, all right. Um, you know, on, you know what? You, you right. You have a good point a about, huh? Wait a minute. What the? Wait, what the hell is going? On? Are you guys talking about fucking a blind man? <laughs> He's no longer blind. Hey, that was this question. <laughs> He's no man, longer bro, blind. He's you do good shit. You do level, man. <laughs> it's like talking a wild kitty, dude. <laughs> Almost. I, I, I am sorry for everyone. If I piss everybody off, but no, no, no. Ray, well, I mean, Ray Charles is no longer blind. You know, he don't need to see now. I mean, he has his eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope so. Oh, he is laying play. on his on his back. He would not prefer to lay on his stomach while he's. Oh, hey, I have a question, man. Uh, to try for us. Hey, so what do you think about the talent in the East Coast lately? How how do you how do you think they're doing? Overall, you think they're getting better, or they're, um, you know, staying where they are, or they got worse? Honestly, I'll, I'll say this: the hey, Tekken hey. players got completely destroyed by West Coast at by dot com. Wait, 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 wait. Because I didn't go. Oh, are you, are you talking about a fighting game? Yeah. Uh, oh, just, okay, fighting game only. Yes, fighting game. Oh, fi oh fighting game. Overall, um, no, nah, well, 
They, they haven't advanced anywhere. The East Coast is still only good in in in. in, in well, actually, now that you guys um, as I have picked up Smash, is it, when it comes to fighters, it's really just um, Marvel and Smash Brothers. No, like, no, I'm talking off. about everything in general. I mean, I, I'll even talk about freaking SNK games. You know, um, every Street Fighter um, out there, not just SNK. Marvel. Marvel is, is, I mean, that's just like SNK. a freaking a, a poster boy game now, dude. It's a poster boy game. Everybody gets hyped because everybody thinks they're good at it. And then you that's just like, root okay, on well, well, top player of your cool. area. That's, that's like me saying the very same thing about Super Turbo. No, Super Turbo, I never said anything about Super Turbo. I never even said I was the best at Super Turbo. A lot of people no, I'm just... Not say, I'm not saying about you. I'm saying general. I'm like, Marvel, Marvel is up there with every other fighting game. Any game that Evil selects, any game that Evil selects. Let's try to keep it with uh, the question within the, in the, in the um, ranks of Evil. This way, we don't get too far off. So we're not, we're not going to okay. talk about okay, uh, all right. how about Okay, how about the games in Evil then? How's the on, your honest opinion? How the East Coast is doing? Because I got, I got, I'm going somewhere with this. That's why. Overall, no, East Coast gets East Coast always gets smashed by West Coast. If you talk about overall, there's only one force in the East, and that's the Empire. And that's the no. only thing that even makes it makes the East even um, appear on the map. And that, you know, that's, 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 that's I, I, I will, no, you're you're misunderstanding me. I, I'm not saying about how West Coast beats them down or anything. I'm just saying. You know your two cents of how I know you. I know you see a lot of tournaments and how you, how the East Coast is doing. I watch. I freaking. I keep up to date to how how uh, players are progressing. The new kids, the the oldies, etc. etc. Et Overall, East Coast remains the same. Same thing. Here now, here same uh, how no could they get better? Because East Coast has like beyond more tournaments than the West Coast has nowadays. West Coast used to have all the tournaments back in the days. Now the East Coast has it. Because I brought this conversation up with uh, Damon. The answer, the answer is simply this. Quality of players. Who are Quality. Decided. I think the only way the East Coast will ever get better is if they can fight the West Coast more often because it's two different styles on the coast. The way the East Coast fights overall, because it's like this. West Coast is used to fighting Japan, right, in terms of fighting games. And in terms of fighting games, Japan has has a different uh, style, an advanced style of fighting, so it keeps the West Coast sharp at times. No, it's not, it's, it's it's not just the West Coast that fights Japan. East Coast fights Japan, too. Yeah, Justin's um, been, been been there like for the past how many years? Okay. Now, give me ten guys on the East Coast that fights Japan consistently. Mm -hmm. See my point? Now, so as I was saying, the East Coast doesn't really get to fight um, anyone on the West Coast, let alone Japan, on a consistent basis. So they will never, they will never evolve. It will, so long as the East Coast has to be able to move out to the West Coast more often, or the West Coast comes out to the East Coast, go to Japan. And Japan, what, and when you look at the track record, Japan rarely comes to the East. So, so in terms of the East Coast learning anything, they're only going to get to learn if they get out to the West more often. I'm like, and that, that's just me trying to keep it within perspective based on the, the information out there or the experience that I've seen in the SRK community. Because the East Coast talking about, oh, let's just have more tournaments and if we keep playing, we'll get better. That's not, that, that is not true. The more you play does not mean the, um, the better you get. The more you play, it, if you're not learning while you're losing, you're just losing. That's it. I'm losing. That, you know that, that proverb is that when you lose, you, um, you're learning something. It, I'm like, yes and no. You have to look, you have to understand why you are losing. That's how you're learning. If you're just losing, you're not learning. You're just losing. That's it. If you don't know why you're losing, you're just gonna keep losing. And the West Coast gets to learn why they're losing. That's why they get better. Same thing for Japan. Same thing for anywhere else. But on the East Coast, only a handful of prodigy players on the East Coast understand that concept. Like Stan Justin is one of them, for example. And that's why Justin can rise above it and play on that level where he can compete against West and Japan. But the, pri the, the majority of the East Coast, no, they don't. They don't. They don't understand why they're losing. They're just like, let me get a, a million games. Triforce, I'm sorry I interrupt you for two. a second, but I yeah. do need to address something uh, that was just um, that I, a comments I've read. Um, <clears throat> as far as this radio show goes. 
Um, I mix it up. You know, a lot of people are wondering about this five by five that five billion dollar thing. It's obviously a joke. All right, people. Five you know, billion. and I mean, and the thing about it is, please do not try to message me and try to chew me out on my own show. Um, you don't fucking pay for it. You know, so if you don't if you don't like it, then don't listen to the show. It's really really plainly that simple. I have been on my last three interviews have all been serious. I mean, the $5 billion thing has not came up in quite a while. I have to mix the show up. The show cannot be completely one thing. I mean, sometimes, at the very beginning of this show, it's very serious. We were talking about Gen Master. Then we got off of that. We talked about something that was funny, and now we're going back to something that is serious. That is how it is on the show. It is not completely one way. All right? So people, do not please message me and tell me how fucked up it is and blah, blah, blah. There, this is... I like to compare this radio station to Howard Stern. You know, he, his antics and everything, you know, but that's the reason why he's the you know, highest paid ever, you know, radio host, because, you know, it's anything goes. That's why I like this show, because anything goes. I don't censor people. I don't tell people what they can or cannot talk about. So please do not message me and try to tell me that what I'm talking about, you know, is makes no sense or is not really worthy of the radio and whatnot. I'll make the decision. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, um, uh, Triforce, man, what I'm trying to get at, dude, is your prodigies and your top players, they're taking their, I mean, they're taking their talent for granted, man. They're not, they're not helping, they're not helping their coast any. I mean, down here, our scrubs turn into top players one day. And, oh, okay. and the I'm time it takes them to get top players is very, very small. Like, uh, an I'm example, back in Southern Hills Golf Land, like the worst scrub in there would give an any out of state player a run for their money. Okay, that's nope. just an example. Now, how how the hell did they get there? Playing the top players all the time. The top players taught them, not just by playing yeah. them, but actually insight. Without this, like, oh, I'm too good. Yo, you can't do this, and I don't want to play. Y'all, you suck, and you know, degrading type of shit. You know, because you know, I'll give you an example. A year and a half ago, yeah, I tried to, uh, you know. Tell I'm still on the, the, the I think the Virginia cat. Tell him, hey, dude, you should go drive and get a t uh, get um, teachings from Kang and shit. Um, Ex Exotech, right? And, and learn from him. Go play with him and Chinche. And you guys should, you know, do whatever. And I'm trying to set that up, but it's very hard. And then Kang has his big head, and he doesn't want to freaking play. Oh, he thinks people are scrubs, so he thinks they're too good. I know Justin has this problem. He foresees anybody even trying to touch him. He doesn't even want to waste his time to play anybody. You know, I think that's a problem. Down over here in the West Coast, you come here and you get you 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 get a plane ticket to play in an arcade. They'll take you with open arms and teach you how to play that game. Can I stop you for a sec, man? <clears throat> hey, I'm from the East Coast, by the way, and actually, mm -hmm. everything you just said, not true. So, uh, no, just hear me out, man. Epsilon plays with Kang. Yeah, but the the, the so times with the. All right, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. I'm sorry. The East Coast people are pretty tight. I actually just got back from playing with, you know, a bunch of guys. We play as much as we can, and, you know, we learn, we learn from our losses. We don't just, you know, the more you play, the better you can. And another thing is we, we do encourage, you know, uh, everyone to play each other. So what you said is not true, you know. Can you uh, Okay, let me. Then, um, Epsilon actually won attorney down here. He won the Braeburn, and he also won one of the C3s for third strike. Okay, so. let, uh, let me let me let me continue what I'm talking about because um, this is exactly what I mean. Okay, when I okay, I told them a long time ago to go to Kang. And Epsilon kept like bitching at me, saying, "No, they don't want to play me." Out of his own mouth. And eventually, yeah, Hold they're gonna sec. play. What, I, you, hey, 18. I know. Hey, I was freaking 13, 14, bro. It doesn't matter. Age doesn't fucking matter, bro. It does you, matter. It, no, it, it does, does not. Matter. My brother is 13. He won't so what, play. Uh, well, that's his problem because he doesn't know that the mind. If you are interested in the game that bad, and you talk about it, you breathe it, you download videos. And you say that, oh, a video game is just a video game, but yet you go to tournaments every weekend? It's a part of your life. And yes, yeah, it's a right. big fucking thing because Watson was that age when he played Schaefer. And he was like four or five years apart. Watson's like a year. 
yeah, yeah, people are different, but it doesn't mean that age doesn't mean anything. If they have the desire to play, they're going to get good. At You're first, right. he didn't want to. Okay, Kang, uh, I know, when I saw Kang, I met him for the first time, you know, giving me cold shoulders, he's trying to, like, neck or so whatever. He's never playing me, so he thought, he thought I sucked. That's the impression elitists have. Fine, whatever. You know, I've done my time, whatever. He's a kid. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. I know Justin has that attitude, yet, I mean, he doesn't have any patience trying to teach anybody. I've heard that from a lot of different players, bro. Uh, let, I, trust me. Can, can, can I interject for a second? All right. Now, um, that was Tech Monkey. You Turn your mic right? up, man. Hello? I'm on the phone. I don't have a mic. Was, and I'm, I'm uh, echoing now. Yeah, you're echoing really bad. Um, you might want to try calling back in and see if maybe we get a better connection. But this is the reason why I try to tell people to use Skype because the phone connection to the radio station is is usually subpar. Because um, everyone else, as you can see, the, you know they they can come in crystal clear. It's just when it's on the phone line does not work very well. I do want to interject here because um, I have to say I have to agree with Alex um, because you know I have seen I think that. It's one of those interesting things about elitist attitudes, um, and one of the reasons why I liked, you know, why I liked, you know, playing at preppies because, you know, playing at preppies, you know, I got to uh, the first time I went to preppies, Chunkster was there. He was visiting from California. This is someone that, you know, that placed number two at Evolution. You know, I haven't played Marvel in probably about five years, and he was the first person I played. And I was never good to begin with. But it wasn't as if he got off the game and said, hey, you know what, this dude is not worth my time. He's never done that. You know, in fact, he helped me, you know, like, okay, you got to do this, that, this, that. And it's something that's probably really basic to him. But it's like foreign to me, you know. But I noticed that when I played another player, which I won't mention, that same night, you know, I did get the impression that, you know, eh, you know, I don't Was really he from the East Coast? No, this is, I mean, this is all West Coast players. Oh. Okay. I mean, because, I mean, we're all in Seattle. And so, I mean, and it was it was a completely different feeling. You know, I'm above you, you you're not worth my time type of thing. You know, giving okay. me the vibe to, to get off the stick. But we and, don't have You that. know, not really interested in, like, teaching me how to play the game or anything like that. You know, and I and that's the elitist attitude. You know, if, you know, if you're not, if you're not a top player, then you're not you know, you're not worth my time. Not just not you in the game, but just in general. Because I watched that entire night on how, you know, you know, other players like myself who weren't top Marvel players were treated by a couple of people. And I saw that, that, that schism there where, you know, they don't really associate with them, you know, even though they're there every weekend. But like everyone else, and, you know, they don't have the skills everyone else has, you know, because they don't have those skills, you know, they don't really respect you even as a person. I so understand. I have to I have to agree with Alex. I've even seen it in my I mean and I mean it's nothing really that big to you know, you know, nothing disturbing, but I mean no, I, I have seen that. That's my whole point. Here, I, I agree All with right. him. I'm just saying there's not much of that going on in here in Maryland and Virginia. There's not, there's Man, not that I don't even have a scene in where I'm at. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. First of all, first of all, um you can only speak about where you're living at. You cannot take one or two isolated situations based on an event and then to sum that up as to what's going on in a coast. So that's why I disagree with Alex. Because what Alex is saying happens on the West Coast as well. But does that mean it happens to the point where it's so consistent that you go, oh, the West Coast is an elitist coast? No. You have elitist people and they live everywhere. Period. Every yeah, coast, they do. every state, every nation, every country, all globally. Now, from what I know, experience, because I live here, this is not me saying, oh, well, I've seen what I know living here. There are a lot of people that, that, that don't necessarily get along with people who are associated in the empire. However, because I cannot speak for the whole East Coast, I can only speak for the places that I go to on a consistent. Wait, Except where do you live? Coast. New yeah. York. Like what area are you talking? On, uh, all of New York, and I really, I really do mean all of New York. I'm, I'm in right. every game team of, from the Bronx to Queens, Long Island to Manhattan, Brooklyn. Well, actually, right now I live in Brooklyn. 
for now. I'm moving back to the Bronx. I can't take this place. Anyway, <clears throat> point is, is that I've been to Nikon, Web2 Zone, um, Neutral Ground, Let Play versus Harlem, Chinatown. And from what I see, let's, let's talk about what's been of recent. Let's look at Nikon. At Nikon, the East Coast virtual fighter community is literally the most tightest community there is. These guys are there every day training with each other. I see Tech Monkey there along with Rodney, along with, um, I forgot the, how you pronounce this guy's name, but the, the, the black guy who plays with, um, huh? Denkai and Chad. Yeah, there you go. Den, um, um, Denkai and Chad. And those guys are there all the time. I've seen, um, I've seen guys who come there for all types of games and their whole community is mixed. Now, why does Justin, why does Justin diss some players and not others? Because first of all, a lot of people don't even like Justin and they think Justin does not know. Yet they try to come and ask Justin, hey Justin, can you teach me the game? In reality, they just want Justin to teach them the game so that they can go back and blast off on Justin. And a lot of these people want to learn from Justin who's actually rivaling um, entities against the Empire. Now, if you look at the Empire, look at the Empire's Marvel team, right, or Marvel-associated gamers. Mike Infinite, the Chris Matrix, Desmond Pickney, Josh Wigfall, Justin Wong, Sapper Kelly, um, Yipes, we'll call Eric, Kevin, um, all of those guys. Look at Chinatown, period. That whole Marvel community sticks together, and they learn. Dudes is at Nelson's house every single day. In fact, let me open my door. You, listen to this. You hear this? No, that's Justin and Will Bill Wellman playing Marvel right now, practicing. And just not five days ago, dudes was over here. Um, Nelson, all them dudes always playing Marvel all day, every day. So you can't take one or two situations of an event that you've been to and you saw when these guys brushed these guys off at the tournament saying, oh, they were called the community, sweet leaders, these guys, are blah, blah. Yo, look, first of all, at a tournament, you don't teach anyone anything. It's a tournament. You're trying to win money. You teach someone before a yeah, tournament. You, you don't come to a tournament looking for pointers. You're going to get dissed. Are you crazy? Why would I give you my secret or even help you in any way to beat me? That's nuts. It's stupid. So, you know, so unless you're talking about you came to the East Coast, you stayed over for a couple of months, something like what Carl did. Carl's been over here for a couple of weeks. He's been to Nike. He sees how Carl wants to come to New York because we're, we're well tight niche on the East Coast. And you're you you're, you're completely misunderstanding the point, bro. 100% misunderstanding. I'm not talking about tournaments, man. I mean, tournaments is, I agree with you. Nobody's going to give out their secrets. But what do you train for? You train for a tournament, right? You know what? The, the, um, if yeah, I, yeah, 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 you, I, you, just, you, I just yeah. said that, though. The, it, over here in the East Coast, hold on, hold on, we are tightly niched in training for a tournament. Okay. I think you can okay. Point okay. Out point point listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking about giving helping the players that need to get their, the their talent going. Oh, you, you guys are talking? You know what? Was, was I interrupting? Or? No, no, I'm just going to. I was just saying that I think that you can actually give pointers to someone without actually telling your secrets. You know, yeah, yeah, of I, course. I don't, really, I don't really, I don't, I don't really buy that argument. Yeah, well, pretty much. It's because you well, resort to sandbagging. That's what all it is. I mean, you're, you're, you're basically you're afraid that uh, well, you even if you teach your secret and the guy knows how to beat it or whatever, they still got to put that mind in the tournament. Will they be capable of doing it? You don't know that. You, I mean, you can, for, you, I can tell any, everybody you, all my damn you? secrets, but will they be able, ah, will they be able to do that to me in the tournament? No. Will no, they even they get that far? Well, they don't they think don't my exactly. Yeah, so who cares that. if you teach the freaking the secret or not? I mean, you you guys strive to be the no, best, we, but yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you guys won so many tournaments. It's you've paid your dues, or you got the respect. You know, you've been number one here and there for so many years. Teach people. Teach the kids. Open arms. Don't, don't have this. See, the, the, the negativity of, like, always being on top and people hating you is because the image that you guys are portraying. No, 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 no. Don't even try to, don't try to reverse anything. Don't try to paint a picture. Your question was, we're not, you're saying that the East Coast players are not tightly niche and they're not teaching each other to advance in the game. I okay, you, well, why, why, does, why does Perfect Legend feel like uh, abandoned when he tried to learn something from Justin Wong? When he tried to learn something from Justin Wong, okay, I'm going to give you an exact situation. P.O. came over here, right? He was complaining, yes, yes, I know. He was complaining like a little girl, but no, hey, no, you know no, what? No, 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 no. Hey, no, that's no, what no, you get. That. That's, that's what you get. You, 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 you stop. Don't put words in my mouth. Let me speak first. Stop. 
not Stop. put words in my mouth. Perfect Stop. You guys are arguing Perfect. about nothing. Seriously. What it's it not really to. arguing. It's about, like, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand why, like, I really want the East Coast to freaking be dominant, dude, because I'm talking about a whole unity of the fucking, of the damn United States, man. You know, and, and I want, I, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want, like, one East Coast player being in the top eight or, or two. I want fucking as much as possible, because... Hold on a sec, man. Hold on a sec. First off, we got a whole bunch of people coming to EVO East, and then... First off, you'll see a lot of us at Evo Evo World. I can guarantee that right now. We got to, exactly. you know, maybe in the past, man, it may have not been the best. But as of recent, we are very, very tight-knit community. We all know each other. We all help each other learn. And as far as it goes, it's like, it comes down to this, man. You know, I live here in MDBA, so I know it goes down. And I also go up to New York every now and then, so I know it goes on. And you know what goes on on the West Coast. I can't tell you how shit is Thank in, you. in in the West Coast because I don't fucking live there. You, I live here in the East Coast, so I know how shit is here. And I'm also no, down in New, not, New York. So that's what I'm saying. I so I know how it is here. I don't want to cut you off, but I want to ask what you're saying. Now, we're not saying that isolated situation where guys be acting up, leaders against each other does not happen. We're not saying that. But we're saying overall... The East Coast is tightly put together, and they do teach each other. The situation you're saying with Carl... Well, Carl would they teach anybody Carl, new? That's my question. Yes. Well, Probably not. There are. <laughs> you know, there that's are a, I'm they kidding. They, they will. They will. Some, yeah, you, guys have, you guys actually do have some cats in the GGX community that do that. You know, like yeah. Virtual Fighter 5... Virtual Fighter 5, that is the best community to learn if you never even touch the damn game. I mean, you, you'll, you'll, they'll pick somebody off the street to try to learn that game because those guys are the best, dude, at, like, freaking uh, showing people a, a also, good time. No, yeah, I, yeah, I think a lot of that has to do with the age the age um, range the for age. that game because most, most, most of the um, virtual fighter cats are, are, like, late 20s and above. Same for no. Third Strike. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not saying that negatively affects another community. What I'm saying is because the reason I think the reason why the virtual fighter community is so good is because there are a lot of older cats and there's not as many egos thrown around. Yeah, no? yeah, and and another thing is you know it's it's hard if you're if you're 13 or 14 and you've got these uh, you know guys who are in their 20s and older when we're you know we're playing games and you know it, it, it's it's hard for them to do that. And some yeah. people are more mature. I'm not saying that. You were talking about Epsilon when he was younger. Epsilon's a mature dude, man. He, he can handle himself. But some people can't, you know. And I and we we always persuade them, but they they're not there yet, you know. You'll reach these a certain are, point are, where you'll be like, damn, are, I really like this game, you know. These are. Are you really really get into it? For me, that was about that was high saw, school, man. When I freshman year in high school, I was like, man, I love fighting games, and that's all I did. So it, there's a certain mm -hmm. point you reach. Some people don't reach it yet. Interesting. You know what? Actually, so I was just reading something on the on the forum or on the on the chat, and it says that Sanford was teaching some. Actually, I asked Sanford about. I asked something about Marvel. I pointed out something about Marvel, and he wouldn't tell me anything. So, I mean, this was well, this was not this was months ago. This is probably like late last year, and I was just asking. He's like, oh, whatever. I don't, you know, I don't really. But got you, time know, for you know how many times so. You know how many times that I've been in Chinatown and gave it, given a lot of people pointers and stuff like that? You know, you're talking about one or two isolated situations that have happened. That like, involved that myself. Like, yeah, that involved myself. I mean, I'm, I can't speak to what he done with other people. I can only say what he did to me or what and, he said to me. He's saying he was an asshole. It's John, motherfucking house. Which is fine. Which is fine. Which is fine. You're a what, cheerleader, what, Triforce. The, you're just like, you should what, roll up with a pom-poms instead of that power glove. You're just no, a chilling man. Point, you don't even play nothing, the, man. You're talking, the point is, talking abroad. The point, is, the point is, you're stating an entire coast. By, uh, but you're, you're making a point about an entire coast, but you want to use one or two isolated people to make a point. That you have no foundation. If that's what you're going to do, you have no foundation on what you do. That's like hey, me it's saying, over. well, it's over. Bronson, that's like me saying, well, Bronson or this person does do XYZ, so the whole West Coast is XYZ. You're going to be like, excuse me? Because because of one or two things I saw. You know, you, you know why I'm saying I'm saying those two isolated areas. Those two isolated areas, Mr. Foundation, is your foundation. New York and Virginia, bro. Let me let me tell you why you're gas. Let me tell you why you're gas. 
because a lot of you guys only a because lot I'm of what? you guys oh no a lot of you guys only see marvel as something that's what's on the east coast on the east coast we play you're talking about marvel <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're talking about all fighting i'm talking but about you know all fighting you personally you don't got nothing you don't enter anything at evo no, but you I swear like you're the Marvel champ. Game. Like you should just attach your mouth to game. Justin, and we'll be straight. Also, ah, uh, now, uh, now, get now we're in a new conversation. I'm glad, I'm glad you, you, you we're into this new conversation. Now, P.O., right. you know what I was talking to you about? Talking other about gamers dissing other people's games because they don't play the other people's games. That's an elitist attitude. Oh, you don't play nothing. That's what you do. Play. You don't play our no. game. You don't play any of our games. And you and talk all this shit on everybody, you know what I'm saying? How, how you're I, dominant I over the West Coast. He's not, he's not talking. He's not talking about that, dude. He's not saying that, dude. He's not saying what that. A, what a, he sounds what elitist. Shit on anyone? <laughs> no, no, he's, he's, he's just stating how he feels of how he sees his coast because he lives yeah, there. You know, I'm, 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 you know, I, re I respect anything. everything he's saying. and You know, I'm, I'm not mad at him. I just want to know. It's not like I'm pointing fingers or anything. I just want to know. You know, where did I ever say that, you know, he's an asshole or he's like, he makes me feel like shit or anything like that? No, dude, I just Ooh. asked him a simple question. That's all. Then I just. Wait, wait, okay. Tell me, tell me, I'm getting lost here. Who, who are you asking this question to? Me? No, I was, no, I was just asking the question from the beginning, like, why is the East Coast, you know, uh, how is their performance and why are, you know, they, or, and how, uh, because they're, because they're in I, the, on, the same. On. Did I answer your question? Answer my a question? Little... Yeah. Well, yeah. From your from your from from your area, you told me that actually you answered it before. I asked you the same question, and you 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 sent you, you gave me the same response. But I mean, I'm like scratching my head. I'm like, okay, but why are you guys still the same skill level? I mean, damn. I mean, that's isn't the, and that's you, all that's all speculation because you have to ask yourself the question: Why are we the same skill level in terms of what? What name the game? Because uh, we. On okay. the East Coast, on the and, and, and East I know. I just said in fighting games in general. I'm not just talking about Marvel. I'm talking like uh, anything. Okay, and e and and that's on the Evil roster. Everything, uh, anything. And well, everything we won't. Hold on, guys. DLA We're was not going to know till after Evo. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Yeah, well, yeah, after he's right. We're not really going to know until yeah, after like, Evo. You're talking about like. Want, oh, and, and, oh, hold on, wait, wait, and then and then another thing. If you want to find out what last year's stats are, you just look up last year's stats for EVO. And in, 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 in on EVO, it'll show... You have to understand. First I'm, of all... I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just talking in, about in, gen, in the whole, not your top players. You're still misunderstanding, man. I'm no, not in, talking in, about in the general, top players. I am no so long, well, I'm talking about in general. In general. Uh, I'm not uh, talking uh, about... Forget the Empire for right now. Why, 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 does, people, why does it sound impossible to even talk to you, dude? I'm like, you're the one that feels so... Freaking adamant and and yelling when I'm just freaking trying to ask you simple questions, bro. You see me yelling and I'm just no, on, honestly, bro. That's how he talks. All right. Okay, oh, okay. That's how you talk. All right. You know, I, I appreciate you know I appreciate your 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 enthusiasm, bro. Whatever, whatever the case may be, dude. You back up your coast and all, but you know, it, I love the fighting game community, dude. And and it just concerns me, dude. I mean, all these years we're playing, and you know, I want you know what? It's sad to say, I want you to beat our ass sometime, dude. And I want to see it more consistently. And like all that elitist talk about, oh, the East Coast will never win. They suck. Whatever is out the window, dog. Well, what I, what all I'm saying is, and I'll I'll talk for him because he's angry. Um, <laughs> is is basically we're we're planning to bring it this Evo, and you know when I'm not just talking about top players. The fact is, so is everybody just, else, huh? So is everybody else, right? That's why he'll go all the way to Las Vegas, I think. Yeah. But go ahead. Yeah, what I'm saying is like, you know, you talk about not even the top players. I'm talking about even not the top players. We're bringing them You're like players. really low. You need to speak up. No. I'm saying even even the players who aren't at the top are coming into Evo East, and then if they make it out, they do. But no, we're we're up to par now, so y'all will see soon. You know. Okay. I don't, right. I don't know. I mean, if you... You should fly out, man. It's play. We we always uh we always welcome people to come out to the East Coast. No, I, you know I I never say like all like your entire coast is like people don't feel all welcome. It's just I'm trying to see where the you Still know I'm sorry from, I'm sorry I'm I'm targeting from the very top from your area and what they're doing with the rest of the community because it trickles down. 
So you want to know how how we train? Is that yeah, it? no, like like what do you guys? You know, I know you're helping. You you guys are you guys are playing in your rooms, freaking you know, uh, 5 p.m. to like you know 8 a.m. in the morning, Marvel and all this stuff. But I really, really freaking. Uh, it's just I, I feel I, I don't see any improvement, man. Like it's gonna take that much longer. I mean, uh, at least get online. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, on, online, no, online, it's like and your point. Your point, your point is, is as only as valid as the opinion in your point. That's, that's fine. That, that, that's my opinion. Uh, that's what I see. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I just that's the way I see it, and I just wanted your response. That's all. And I, I didn't. My response. My response. You play my East Coast response play. without getting eccentric or passionate or yelling is, in my opinion, the East Coast has um, the East Coast is in terms of the games that they specialize in or play in terms of fighting games overall. They're good. They're, they're good where they are. I don't think they've necessarily improved, but that doesn't mean that they've gone down or gotten any better. It, because it's all perspective. Some people go, well, the East Coast rates the West Coast in Marvel, but the West Coast rates the East Coast in Third Strike. So it all depends on where you're looking at it from. And then now you have Smash Brothers in the lineup. On the East Coast, the Smash Brothers is actually larger than the West Coast and has more dominant players. But does that mean the West Coast is not developed as, as good as the East Coast over here? No. I'm like, on the East, on the West Coast, you have OC, uh, and you have tennis tournament for Smash Brothers, and, like, a lot of players go out to that. But on the East Coast, you have the Gauntlet, which is like DA. But it, when, it come, when it overall, what it all comes down to is simply this. Evo determines which coast has stepped their game up and which coast has stepped their game down. For the longest time, Evolution, Battle of the Bay, everything that it was before it became what it is today, the West Coast has always been the leader and the driving force. So you want to use the West Coast as a measuring stick. Now, if you look at the East Coast then versus now, to, then to answer your question is, we become godlike. Because <laughs> we were garbage back then. I, I would say... No, now. of course. I mean, the... The improvement is there. I definitely see. I, I definitely see then, it. But like then, it then just it, it feels like it just hit a like a a plateau. I think. If, I think you well, say I'm, that. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I don't think it hit a plateau yet. I think we just getting warmed up. Warmed up. And I think it, I, I think okay. I think the East Coast going. I think the East Coast going to see that at well, the world. I, uh, I really well, hope so, and I, I wish them, you know, the case. best to you to to you know get all the wins out there. Then, man, and I hope you're right because. Honestly, in my eyes, last year was kind of an embarrassment, bro. Um, and nah, not from not not from our take. Empire took took home twelve grand. I think we did our part to represent the East, and then for you all play, the yeah, you're talking about money. I'm not talking about money, bro. I'm talking about overall money. skill. Money, I'm talking about money, overall money, skill. I don't care. Money, money, money is my. Money I stopped playing for money for the longest for your, time, bro. Don't throw money in this equation, man. Right I'm talking about stuff. overall skill. You're a money roster. is the measuring. Money is the measuring stick for ranking. That shows yeah, well. how much where the East Coast was at Evo. I'm not uh, talking about money uh, uh, I would disagree with that because let me tell you, what? if you had oh no 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 yes I would disagree with that Triforce. When you have Justin Wong on your team and you know and he wins Marvel, I mean that's five grand for Empire. Okay, I mean that on, that could be in the pool. I mean when you, you have, on your team, have when you, you have the, um, the way you have the Wolf Brothers on your team, your point and um, but my point is this: I don't think that money can be can be used as a reliable measuring stick on you know on how a particular team is doing you know because let me t but you know what what does that say like for example let's look let, let's look at Marvel for a second Marvel you know you know that there there has been no dispute there was a lot of shit talking going on even on this radio before Mar before the uh, evolution happened. About how the evolution, how e the, the, the East Coast was going to rape the West Coast in Marvel, and then, yeah, and then and when, the, when the when the when the dust settled, when the dust settled, Justin got first, and then from like from second to like sixth or seventh, Thank it's all you. West Coast players. Excuse Thank me. you. And and then third strike, there's no uh, your your poster boy got ousted in freaking uh, you know the 32 man bracket. And what oh, else? So that's, that's nice. And East Coast took second, so uh, I guess that's not so bad. E e East Coast took second, and East Coast. East Coast. East Coast. Oh, you're using East Coast, huh? It's Japan, bro. Come okay. on.
Ask okay, you, I mean, already, whatever, you sign into a little contract, whatever, you put them in your little right club. Here. But let's be real, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I talking know, about, no, no, you, you, you know better than that, You know, you know better than that. You got all this training in Japan. You, you want to use that? All right, that's, that's, wow. I'm not no little clan or little click or your little whatever set you're trying to play us as. Don't even try to play yourself, my little click. Whatever. Yeah, you're, you're using no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not yeah. degrading your your your, your empire no, or anything. I'm just saying this you're using you're using you're no, using Issei for a is, Japanese player that just barely got the, there as is, as a team of the, the East Coast. What's the point, B? What's your point? What what is your point? I don't understand your point. Well, I, I, so, I, I feel I miss your point, B. You have World Cyber, you have World Cyber Games as a league. You have Cyber Professional League as a league. You have UGS as a league. You have SRK as a league. You have MLG as a league. All these leagues are professional. They are players from all around the world. If you want to make your players postal and you want to base your, co your players on a region, that's you, dog. Step up to the new level. The new level is on some global shit, B. So, so then you, you like, like, from nationality. everything, from everything from what you said about you guys have open doors and everything and you guys will help people. What you're saying right now is, is, oh my god, you just answered my fucking, that's all I want to hear, bro. You guys are the epitome question. of elitist take, attitude no, right you there, bro. No, if, if you're if you're if you're using you're using you're using Ise, you're using Ise, bro. You're yelling. You're, you're using you're using Ise for 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 for, for your team. I'm talking about your coast, bro. I'm talking about your coast. I'm not talking about. You try to downgrade the East Coast. Oh, okay. All right, fine. You don't want to. You want to talk about Empire? Fine. Ise got second. and Empire is up there. Why have you a poster boy? My poster boy? You disrespect him, son. That's what it is. You disrespect him. My poster boy. Charles, you, you gotta calm down, man. You no, man, you tell him calm down. Dude, you're gonna, gonna have to calm down. Try first. Try first. You're you gonna have to. Alright. Chill. <laughs> What's up? We need an intermission. Yeah, uh, he he really can't handle the truth, dude. I've been in the game for freaking like over fi truth. 15 years, bro, and he's, ta he's no, talking to me like this, the, like... Uh, yeah, 15 years, uh, who are you? I'll talk to you. No, as long as I'm not disrespecting you, I can talk to you and make my point as I want. So don't try to make it put yourself to a level where, oh, I got to watch who I'm talking to you like you're my father. Well, uh, okay, not, look, your best player, I take poster boy you. back. If that, really, uh, if that really disrespected you and your area, I'll take it back and I apologize for it. But your best player is, is Justin Wong, overall. Yeah, no, our Correct. best fighting game player is Justin Wong. Hey, that, I, that's, I what, that's what I'm saying. I, why do you think I always, I'm not saying any other game, I said fighting game. Well, I don't know no, where no. you. I'm not talking about first-person uh, shooter no, or, or, or dance, yeah, dance or any me, of that let, stuff. Let, let me go down the. Let me go down the list. Let me go down the list of other <laughs> players that actually have skill in other games. No, whether stop. whether you people. Now, like yeah, now it's now it's sold, dude. Yeah, 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 I, pre I appreciate like your time, bro. I just wanted to know your two cents on like these. Cause no, I think I got I, I got it, bro. So. No, uh, I'll give you answer, man. You know what, Triforce? If I could say something. Here, you know what? You know what would impress me is that you know mm -hmm. the people that you sponsor for Evolution uh, sponsor someone yeah. who you know who actually isn't a top player. Because you know what? Because you know what? That to me shows more than anything. When you actually put your neck out for somebody that is not a top player, then that to me will say that will say boatloads about. I'm not. Uh, if you're doing for the games, uh, that, that's something else. But I'm just saying for the fighting game. If, if you can spot someone who we don't know, someone that is not reg regularly regarded as a high, high, uh, a top player, then that was something that would impress me. Also, he does send oh people God, to yeah. places where this, this he has to send them to no Evo, sense, but you know, East, East, East Coast can't get no love whatsoever. So I just, oh boy. So yo, look, yo, the best answer is this: when you see us at Evo East. And you see all the other players that we have, from GA to Smash Brothers to Ultimate Warriors, CBS 2. Uh, it's just to see what we're talking about. Because it, it, I, I just, yes, yeah, Steve H. Steve fucking H. You just get it right. Angry, angry black. And, and, and we knew Steve H from Mad to 2, it's like three years ago, when he was dog shit. And now he's just, but you know what it is? I already, I already understand. Look. Yo, I gotta tell you Alex something. To to, hey, hey. I gotta tell you something. However, Alex... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, Triforce, yeah, Triforce. Yeah, I'm listening. I don't know, man. S Steve H has got a uh, habit to deal with. He might have to throw He's another got... desk. 
<laughs> but you know what? It's one of the things I find interesting, though, is we was talking about coasts. And you know what? One try for try for Somebody I noticed when she was talking about when we was talking about coasts, empire yeah. always comes into the picture because because I think what some of the people might have not against empire is because you think that the empire represents all of East Coast, even for those. No, who may we, not no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa! I do not. We already had our little fight with the East Coast. Okay. We already had our little. Uh, we have our own internal issues. They did. The East they Coast did. don't want yes, us to represent sure. them. That's right. Yo, like, there was a time. Like, since 2003, where we have to just literally give up and say, okay, fine, the empire isn't the East Coast. The empire has no coast. I used to put that on the phone all the time. However, however, whenever talking about evil, you have to understand a large portion of the empire does come out of the East Coast. That's so whether fine. Or not, whether or not we that. represent them, whether or not we say we don't represent them and we have no coast, when they look at us, and they post us. Remember, like when they go, Sanford Kelly, who plays Sanford for the Evil Trailer. Look where they put. They put a city. They put New York. I tell these guys all the time: stop putting the city. Put Empire. So this way, we don't have no coast affiliation, and no one will put us that. But they don't. They put us on the coast that we are. So it always comes up as a coastal war. And then when you look at it, who's who's from the East Coast in terms of being on the East Coast? It's a top player. Justin Wong is on the East Coast. He's from New York. He's the top Marvel player in the world. So they go, that's your post award. But that's what? He's in Empire Arcadia. So indirectly, whether we like it or not, we are representing the East Coast. We even, look at the, the $2,500 Marvel um, 515 that I put up. I said it's going to be Empire versus West Coast. And if the East Coast wanted to, they could put together a 515 and get involved. We even try to separate ourselves. So it's damned if we separate ourselves, damned if we don't. I'm like, come on, what do y'all want? They try for us. He left. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm actually at this point too tired. Too tired to argue about it. Um, it it's. It's not worth arguing over. We'll, we'll see results at Evo, man. That's all yeah. there is to say. Okay. Well, we'll see the results at Evo. Yeah. That's. I mean, like. I mean. I, I mean. I mean. It's not really the results I'm really looking at. I'm just. You know, because I mean, I. I can't. You know, totally speak for Alex, but I think what he was trying to get to is like, you know, we're, what are we doing to actually expand the fighting game community? Teaching each other how to play the game is fine, but well, he, he I think what he was trying to get into was getting new blood into the community, which is something I've always, I've always advocated. <laughs> You know, and um, and I what he was trying to say is that the elitist attitude prevents new people from you know from not just getting into the community but staying as part of the community. Yeah, you man. Know? And what I'm, say what I, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, I don't I don't mean to disrespect it in a judge, but I'm glad you put the question in that phrase because I'm going to make a statement and answer your question, right? No shit Five that points. the elitist attitude does damage to any community. That's statement number one. Number two, you cannot ask. You cannot ask me, like me per se, Triforce, what are we doing to do to help the East Coast community? We have problems with the East Coast community. The East Coast community doesn't really like the Empire. And because of that, the only people we can get involved and teach or help to rise up are those that are a part of Empire Acadia or associated with Empire Acadia. Now, with that statement out of the way, I can tell you an organization on the East Coast that is doing their best to up their players, uh, uh, to, you know, to set the East Coast players up. I don't necessarily agree with them on personal levels, but they are doing their job. TGA. Um, I have to say something about this. Um, what if, like, this uh, uh, Empire member, like, pretty much... It, it was their choice to join Empire, first of all. Like myself, uh, I'm Young Ice, that's my real name, and I d I've decided to join Empire because I've, you know, I've thought of consideration, I've looked on to what they uh -huh. do, and I, and I like what they do. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm even part of East Coast. I'm originally from New York. Right now, I'm residing in Florida. Um, I'm doing my own thing. Uh, but, you know, I've, I've joined Is Empire. Is he you know, I'm else with me? I'm sorry? Sounds clear as day to me. Oh yeah, what's up, niggas? <laughs> what's up, y'all? Uh, Who's this? What's up, Jedi? Anyways, what uh, up, I was saying. Yeah, go, go uh, on, go I, on, like, I, I was just, I was just, I talked to, I spoke to Triforce at uh, ECC10, and you know the points that he bring out, and I was like, all right, you know, I understand, you know, pretty much, you know, if they if they want to hate the Empire, they don't hate the Empire, but you know, other people do like the Empire of what they do, and they they came a long way, and you know, 
I mean, as of right now, I'm just going to say that I am proud of myself to be a part of the Empire Arcadia. You know, I don't care what people think. You know, I'm going to do my own thing. And also, I want to bring the Empire involved with it because, you know, pretty much, they, I mean, they, they pretty much inspired, they inspired myself to be um, a better man in general as of gaming and life, you know. And just, you know, that was my two cents right there. Hey, man, so. people, hey, speaking for someone who's at the East Coast, man, we, we don't have a problem with Empire. I, I don't. I've never done anything to me. Well, I, I mean, most of the people that I see that have a problem with Empire usually have a problem with Triforce personally. And Actually, you know something? That's a, that's a good point. Uh, let me re- let, I, w- I would like to uh, be the first to take that back. They actually don't have a problem with the Empire. It's just me, really. It's, I, that, that's, more, that's closer to the truth than anything else. You know, and, uh, <sighs> and so that's, when, uh, that's basically, you know, I mean, the buck stops here. I mean, that's where basically where most of the people that I've seen, you know, DSP obviously being the, probably one of the most far-known ones, but, you know, his whole problem with Empire has to do with Triforce and a situation that actually doesn't involve Empire, at least not to my knowledge. Yeah. So, you know, that's what, but at the same time, though, you know, and something I said to Triforce before, when you are a, when you are a face of an organization, you know, you got to be careful in what you say because everything you say is reflective of your organization, whether you would like to or not. And when you entire, and when you entire, when you when you are a, a leader of an organization, you have to hold you, hold yourself a both approach because if you don't, then that can come down, come down, come back and hurt you. You know. Say that I, one more time. Uh huh. Say say that one more time. No, I'm just like literally. I mean, hey, <laughs> you know, hey, I mean, it's David's the truth. trying to make a point. I mean, I mean it's it's <laughs> the truth. He's a faggot. You know, but you know, I, I great. You gonna get that nigga on here, and it's gonna be another three hours of us calling him a snitch, and worthless amount of time. We, we we've got the feeling it's all good, but I mean, you, know, you know, I mean, no, we've well, actually, actually, that conversation is dead because you know what? I think that 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 horse has been beaten to death about him being, personally I don't think that whole you beat your meat to death what it's, it's been beat to oh, death no. I mean I mean it's not you one of things gutter, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's not really that important okay he snitched EX man not out whatever I mean this is over, I mean this is over some forum bullshit it's not, it's not really anything that's really of note you know whether or not he killed Poor a girl I mean, but you know hey I had a big talk with DSP in private about all of this stuff and you know I have come to the agreement that you know, you know that we that 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 conversation, part of the conversation is dead. It was stupid to begin is. with. The sp- the pillar of the community. You know what I mean? Poor pillars. So uh, so what did I miss, man? I just got back from the gym with getting my ass kicked. So what I miss? What I miss? West Coast. I have to listen to the recording, man. West Coast is. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's nothing new. Ain't nothing shit to catch up on there. <laughs> uh, shit. I ain't got I mean, beef with y'all niggas. I'll put it like that. <laughs> hey, man. I ain't, I ain't no nigga, man. Don't call me no nigga. Okay, nigga, rolling Duck D. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shoot. Nah, I mean, as far as I consider, I only represent Portland or myself. He represents <laughs> nobody. He represents um, nobody. He, yes, GK, uh, yes. You know what he I, represents? Or we got him. Oh, keep on talking, keep on talking mess, but hey, you're man, just C Tech. You're not even Seattle. You're C Tech. C Tech. That's fine. <laughs> C Tech. You, you're not even. You're not even level for a real name. You're just C Tech. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have C Tech Airport, the biggest airport in the freaking state. Hello. Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. and you need to get a hold of that airport and get your ass out of that nasty city. How about that? Uh, no, nah, huh? Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, or you know, Portland, Oregon, population five hundred and twelve. Okay. Uh, okay, you got a lot of jokes, but we got more people than y'all niggas do. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we gonna move on. Hey, can I get a shirt, man? I'll wear y'all Empire Arcadia shirt to my next fight. I get a lot of press. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get whatever sponsorship I can, man. I just picked up another one from a uh, radio oh, station. This is so radio county. station. You mean radio yeah. station? No, nah, radio station, fool. What the hell's a radio what station? Game play? What games do I play? Yeah. Anything that's not Guilty four. Gear. Street Fighter 4. He plays Street hater. Fighter 4. <laughs> hater? Man, your dick is small. You hater on that. <laughs> that sounds, that's pretty gay, man. How you, uh, how oh, yeah, no homo. no homo. You feel better? 
don't know. I'm in a jerk move, man. I did fucking eight five minute rounds plus this all this other cardio stuff, so I'm a bitter person right now. And, oh, GTA, by the way, man, um, you were kind of right. You were kind of right. Uh, uh, it wasn't about the mustache with the girl. She had a she had a stained breath, so I had to cut her loose, yo. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best part of why the, <laughs> the, 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 the hair, on her, uh, hair on her lip was singeing up. Nah, it wasn't, it wasn't the hair. She had no hair. Yeah, she did. Put that picture up again. Put that picture up again. (laughs) That furry ass bitch that you fucking. Y'all know what's great? Nah, a glory hole account. A what? A glory hole account. Dude, don't be going back to that. Yo, I mean, I mean dude, me don't be going back. You got to think I was bad with that five billion. You too much your glory hole account. I mean, hey, I mean, that shit is not talking about fucking dude in the ass, though. You know what? Let me tell you something. There's only one kind of glory hole that I know of. So you can go yeah, ahead. Yeah, that's, that's that shit that you want. No, okay, whatever, <laughs> That man. shit is not glory Like I said, hey, hey, hey. I have never been to a straight side, straight side that has glory hole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, there's, you know straight, there's straight side. <laughs> you know he's... <laughs> Yo, oh. who the fuck is this? Chicken. Who is Charles? Huh? Hey man, hey hey hey, DJ, what's Angela doing? Um, <laughs> shit. I just got off the phone. I just got off the phone with her like 15 minutes ago on the way she back probably, from the she's gym. She's probably working on the phone service, right? Is she so hot? Like, I mean, I'm not she hot. Is she hot? Oh, she got a number. <laughs> yeah, she got a number. Who don't have a number? <laughs> well, it's a call service. Is she oh, home? you want that number? That number. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. I'm distracted. <laughs> oh well. See, I'm see this girl talking to me right now on this what other on my other computer, and I'm trying to talk to y'all niggas. Y'all Wait, want that number? Oh, she didn't give me. What? I'll, At least I'm talking to mustache females. Uh, all right. Might be At least my females are hairless. That's all I got Man. to say. <laughs> my females, I can see through a TV screen. Fuck. Damn, <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. What, what is this? What is this about this hairy female? What is this all about? Yeah, he had, he had, no, 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 no. He, he had this, he had this bitch. Oh, talking about, yeah, I'm trying to get at this one female. I was like, good, let's, let's see this picture. And then you see this, this bitch got a Mexican yeah, no mustache much. across her yeah, lip no and much. shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Nice. Yeah. she had, she had hair on the wrong set of lips. That's all I gotta say. You know yeah, what? Know. You know what? Be <laughs> nice, man. Yeah, Are you dating you Chewbacca? Let me tell you the story, though. Can I tell you the story real quick? Right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you this dating Chewbacca? Happened. How you got razor burn when you try to kiss that bitch? <laughs> <laughs> listen, no, listen. No, listen. No, all no. I gotta ask: Are no. you dating Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, let me tell you what's up with her, yo. Uh, she's a she, she's a virgin. She still is a virgin. I didn't want to get out of her because Damn, she might, yo, yeah, because of her lip is here. Imagine that, Nana, though. <laughs> Straight forest. <laughs> anyway, only these these bits. <laughs> nah, yeah. man, real talk. Um, nah, she's a nice girl and all, but you know what I'm saying? She's just not my type, man, because she's a virgin. And if I if there I there is a she's reason not type, she's a virgin. There is a reason. Yeah. So you want a girl who just had a baby? You want that kind oh, yeah. of... No, no, no. <laughs> he wants the chasm for the pussy. You want to put your head in it, your real head in it. You want to be nah, looking it's for not, it's not the physical feature. It's not the physical part. It's the... um. Oh, you sound like a real female right mental. now. It's not about the physical. It's about the inside. No, it's, it's the, the inside part. that counts. If I, if I was to ever smash, right? If I was to ever smash her, like, seriously, she, she would think I'm her husband and shit. So I don't want that to happen. So, so, so let me tell you. Let her think what she wants. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Do, I'm not. do, look, you're missing out on the finer things in life. Virgin sex. You know she don't know what she's doing. That hole is so tight and wet. I'm, I'm yeah, I, I will give you the instant replay of it. Ow. You know, that hurts. So you know down. What, you know what? Hey, oh, my bad. Those Asian bitches. My bad. Denied. Uh, you know what? <laughs> this, ow. <laughs> this is <laughs> ow, but ow quickly turned to ooh. Denied. I, I am doing Mr. this Carl. for your health. All right. You see, that's what you. That's what I'm. You, you felt that? You know, because you need <laughs> to stop doing good. that, man. Do not think about her anymore. All right. I'm not thinking about her. Get the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to New York tonight. I'm going to New York at 7 a.m. You ain't doing nothing. You want to bet? <laughs> you ain't going to do nothing. You want to bet? <laughs> you know, I know you're going to, I mean, listen, Chewbacca 
Leave Chewbacca alone. Now I will. Li- I will literally <laughs> start alone. a I broke up with her tonight. Just no. She was just in my house, and then after that, you, you broke know up that. with her. So you were with her. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I was with her. Right. Oh, uh, okay. I, I was with her. So you were dating <laughs> Chewbacca. Do not cha- Do not. Do not date Chewbacca. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> Go to the mirror and smack yourself. That, like that. No Chewbacca. No Chewbacca. No Chewbacca. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Real, real speech. Like, all right. Yeah, she was in my house, right? And then she trying to... You get a smack on that. We're kissing and shit. <laughs> well, we're kissing and shit, and then I smell her breath. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn, man. That she ain't That's what teeth. you get for smelling. She ain't brush her teeth, dog. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> That's, like, that mean, that right there, I don't like that shit at all. Like, she, Sounds she like breath. bullshit. Uh, no, you know what? Like bullshit, just for her... Right? Just <laughs> again, just for you That's bringing me. her into your house. I mean, that's what you get for <laughs> Yo, who's Wait, on this line anyway, man? I... Their breath smell like shit after you kissed her or before you kissed her? I don't know. I, mean, I think it's just... That's I don't like know. Being, though, I don't know. This man says, I don't know. I'm, I'm having shit. doubts, I, man. I, I smell shit on him. I smell shit. I'm like, after Whoa. you kissed her? Like, be, during I was kissing her for like the first time. Oh, during? Time oh. During you were kissing. So, so you had to kiss her more than once to figure this out. Yeah, on her you upper lip you had to have that feeling right there. Like, if you kiss her, like... Nah, this is hey, you shit. know dry spit nah, smell like shit, it again. Right? So I kissed again, I was like, ah, damn, that is shit. So I offered her some, some salsa water, right, with some cherry flavor in it, and she said no. That's like, a whole oh. idea. <laughs> so, you know, okay. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> man, but yeah, I'm <laughs> done with her, yo. Some more doo-doo. I mean, yo, I so, mean so, uh, uh, here's the excuse, here's the excuse. I'm like, yo, I'm going to New York, and, you know, I might, I might stay. <laughs> I don't know about y'all guys, but like this whole story about him kissing a girl sounds fishy. That's right. And you, like her nana that's and her you breath. Telling it. Uh, I see you lying. If you lying, <laughs> just say you lying. Hey, just say that you couldn't get it up and she dumped you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Say the real story. Right here, that hold was hold a preemptive hold slap. Hold on, hold on. What's this? Hey, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Hey, be quiet, be quiet. Hello? That's for that's for answer the phone. <laughs> Damn man, what's up? Him. You, you I've got the magic blue pill. Come back to me. Yo, Nicole, what's up? Yeah, I got this special drink. It's called the Magic Razor. Yo, okay, so has anyone got a picture of this? I had one. Does anyone have a picture right. of Chewbacca? I, can I had it. one. I just didn't. I couldn't keep ugly bitches on my computer. Man, I'm sorry. what you do is you go on the internet, you type in Google, you go to Image, and then you type in Chewbacca, and you get. Uh, no, I'm talking yeah. about your Chewbacca right now. Oh, actually, my Chewbacca. Yeah, I ain't talking no fucking hair. <laughs> hold on one second, hold on one second. Who, like, cousin oh, is the show? Hey, yo, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. She can't hear us, man. Yeah, she can, actually. Oh. How much stars tickle your lip? Yo, it's cold. Hey, tell her I can line yeah, that up cold. real quick. Hey, hey, yes. it's like, hey, oh, hey, okay. hey, Miss Chewbacca, can you hear this? That's what you trying to get on. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Stay with your own kind. Stay with the Wookiee. <laughs> nah, All right, I'll just stop. Nah, I'm on the house phone right now. You know what happens if you try to kiss yeah. me? So, are you going to bed? Not with you, though. Yeah, right now. You got school tomorrow. I don't know. Why is he talking Monkey to a school. girl with mustache? <laughs> <laughs> on the I phone did. right now. I'm not going to kiss her Sarah Breast I'm going to give you a call when I arrive in New York, all right? That's what it's so are you gonna kiss her other mouth? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the other set of lips. Nah, if you can I get through the forest. I, I, mean, I mean, unless you like the smell of shit, I, I would invite you to her ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, D-Nice don't do that. But, um, yeah, D-Nice man, don't, don't do her. that. I mean, right <laughs> now we friends. We, we friends with her. I'm, with her, I could be friends with any other girl. Like, nah, okay. Cut her to the core. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. I guys and girls her, can't be I'm friends. It's just impossible. Mm. Not really. As you say, you could be the ugliest bitch in the world. You will still want to fuck that bitch. Why? Just... She's a girl. <laughs> That's your love call for you, bro. <laughs> That's that baiting call. <laughs> Yo, who's on this line anyway, man? Because I just got into the door and I saw this nigga still up, so I knew the radio was fucking on. So who the, who the fuck is on the line anyway? Y'all niggas on the line. This is Carl. Nice to meet you. Yep. GTA, you know who this is, so I ain't gonna say yeah. that. <laughs> G- uh, GTA, I didn't know there was a G in my name, but close enough. GTA, I don't know, man. Yeah, there you go. 
There's J in it. J. J. Nigga. Mr. Barber. Tay Barber, aka O M N E, one mixed nigga entertainment. Oh, <sighs> hey, <laughs> nigga. Oh, anybody talking to you? you? I was yawning. Dude, I like yawning. Be nice, say, be like, nice, man. I just saw the picture of the girl. <laughs> hey, you send it to me. I mean, what the fuck, man? Show me. Send it. I'm, I'm just kidding. I just had to do that triple. Her, her royal, her royal furiness. I'm sorry, man. I was just kidding. I just had to do that triple slap. Hey, can you can't give can me a picture, price, please, man. so I can put see the it. picture up, D. Yeah, put the picture. Don't be scared. Come on, man. If the mustache ain't there, you'll put the picture up. The mustache ain't there. I'm, 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 I'm gonna show you a close-up picture. Oh, oh, now it's uh, not. Uh, it's gonna be a different picture. It ain't the same picture. I'm <laughs> telling on you. That's a free <laughs> <answer> slap <laughs> for that picture. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna show you how the same picture. Fine. I'll show you how the same picture. Oh, uh, he was gonna change the picture. Oh, See, like, now you know it was a furry it's bitch. It, man. Yeah, I ain't no furry bitch. I just got a better picture of her. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. it? Hey, is it Monster's mom? <laughs> yeah, it's Monster's mom. You know, remember, remember, remember Monster from Muppet Babies? Oh, that's God. fucked up. <laughs> That's for me for making that joke. <laughs> oh shit, man! <laughs> the fu- I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Ben, what happened to you the other night, man? When you did late night radio, and you just went to sleep a half hour later. I don't remember, man. What? Yeah, this nigga did a late night radio, and fucking, it was just me, his ass, and, Mond- and Mandel, and this nigga was just like knocked out half hour later after he started the show. After he hit me up talking about, oh, I'm starting the radio. So I thought I'd help this nigga out. This nigga could just go to sleep half hour later. Who? This nigga been at 2 o'clock in the fucking morning, oh. 5 o'clock where y'all niggas was at. You should been like, oh, man, ben, ben, wake was, up. Yo, ben was taking a shit once. <laughs> Yeah, I took a dump on the radio, so... Yeah, that's a great feeling. Mm-hmm. All right. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Hold on. Her royal furriness. Hold on. Yeah. This is what Monster's mom looks like. Hey, y'all got some... Uh, <laughs> hold, on. hold on. How you make a chat? How you make a chat? I want to make a chat for y'all niggas. This nigga ready? fucking photoshopping ready? the shit out of that picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. I'll give you out the wrong link. Shit. What link is this? Hold on, here it is. Mm, no, that's not it. Oh, hold on, oh, hold on. Maybe. I don't see your link. Oh, oh, I see it. Let's see if it's the real picture. Wait, did you my- send me a MySpace link? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I'm, now you gonna make me try to see this furry bitch? Yeah, fortunately. I gotta put in effort to see a girl I already know was ugly. Thanks. <laughs> Nikki baby. Oh, mm mm. Furry baby. Yo, go to our MySpace. This is Watch. No. Hey, this, how this you pictures, doing, Miss Chewbacca? Of her eating burgers. Whoa. Tell me that's not a mustache. And what's up with the teeth? That's not a mustache. Man, that's what a, is up with her teeth? That's a mustache. Man, Chewbacca's <laughs> teeth are straighter than hers. Goodness gracious, man. <laughs> This Dude, bitch yeah, chewing on bricks. D-nice, 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 man. D-nice, D-nice, D-nice. Let me, let me be the first to tell you. Gosh, she's easy, son. I'm telling you, though. She's easy, but I don't want, want to, though. That's a man. <laughs> oh, she looking like a man. That's a man. Hey, you you that, that, that's a man. So, so, you like those girls in the village, huh? <laughs> that's a man. Nah, nah. I, I'm letting you know that's a man. You up in the village? Ain't no, nah, she ain't a man. Trust me. Believe me. Man, I've you've seen, been you've been I've messing around with a man Yo, giant. Uh, no homo, no homo. If she was a man, she probably had a surgery, but no homo. <laughs> but you, no, don't, don't say no that. homo, you've been yeah. messing around with her mangina. <laughs> <laughs> don't make it more suspect, man. She got the China pussy. Mm. <laughs> how was the mangina, man? She's not she is not pretty. How how was the mangina? <laughs> she got a shrunk She got a fucking shrunken head oh, like Beetlejuice. Go. Hey, D nice. How was the mangina? D, how's the mangina? Hell no, nah, I'm not. I'm not fucking her. 
Oh, I didn't wanted to, though. Like, that's bad enough. She's a left or right. Nah, son, I told you, she's a virgin. Hear me out, hear me out. You know what? Yeah, this is Because they nobody wanted to hit that. To tell you, to tell you, this reminds me of the uh, transvestite. That- <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I guess you yes, The one sir. that says you won't notice her tennis cock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! I see on my uh, mustache. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you don't see that? What the fuck is this shit on her breast? Man, that's where that, she has dude, a breast. That's toilet paper. What is this shit on her breast? That's, that's like... the toilet. That's toilet paper. She ain't got no. <laughs> she ain't got no titties. <laughs> she got some big nipples. She, like she got scar on her titty or something. Like her nipple <laughs> on the side of her. Oh, that bitch nice, is on man. the honor roll because she got straight oh, well, A's, nice, bitch. Be nice. <laughs> yeah. Be nice. Um. So you know, you know what? I owe you an honorary slap. The next time I see, I mean, I see your evolution, man. You you deserve a slap for for even sending that, man. I cannot believe. Nah, nah what you deserve is a female, man. Shit, we gonna hook you up with what a real need, female. In fact, it. what you detain you to slap him in the sleeve? Oh, that's on her that's face. Hold on, hold on. You kiss this girl? You kiss this girl? <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> Her teeth is black as the sky outside. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Her, her gums are darker than the inner bl- uh, ass cheeks of my ass, and you kissed her. All right, all right. That's is that my most. All right. Call her right, shadow I'm now. I admit, I admit, she is she is like one of the pretty bad looking girls I've ever been with ever. Oh, no, 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 bullshit. Now you want to admit shit when I was calling you out a long time ago. Nah, she, nah, she real nah, pretty. I mean, yeah, bullshit, better, bullshit, nah, bullshit. Talk. Nah, she is pretty she though, but she's like, one of the, virgin, she's like, she, she, she's bad, her hygiene is hey, bad, man, that's the only thing, that's the only thing, that's not good. You know what, Larry, Larry the Cable Guy, hygiene. Larry Cable Guy would do something, would say something like this, damn, she ugly, she liable, make Ray Charles flinch. <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> My feelings are hurt. <laughs> it ain't had shit to do with me. <laughs> Just like that movie Ray, when he was feeling her arm, she would have feel on that Chewbacca arm and like, fuck you. <laughs> you, ah, oh, man. Nah, I'm sorry. Hey, D nice, D nice. It's all good, but, you know, I can't believe you. So, uh, you still didn't answer the question. How was the man oh, What's up? What was the question? My bad. How was the man How was the man Gina, nigga? <laughs> How was the man Gina, was it? Was it nah, she, she, uh, she, she looks like woman. Zach from DOA and fixed her. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's bad when you look like a male. He bar. bought tea. He clowned your bitch with a bad game. Fuck that. That's fucked up. <laughs> 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 he didn't even give you a good game to make fun of her with. <laughs> Damn. Nah, real speech, yo. Like, yeah, I, I fucked up. So, hey, good thing so, is, you know, let me get this straight. You actually kissed this girl. <laughs> That's yeah. all we can get over. Hey. Yeah. I like, did you get like a nicotine high when like when your tongue touched her gums? Cause man, look like like. Nah, man. Today I had to drink a lot of water, mouthwash, and shit just after she left. Like, an hour nigga, ago. you need a fucking scope IV from kissing that bitch. Like, dude, nah, when you when you, when funny, you like, nah, this is what happened. This is what you happened. got ginger when vitus you from your her, lips from you kissing like that bitch. Did you like black nah, smoke right, like black like, 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 <laughs> I, I'm a guy. I'm a guy shit. with teeth, right? Like me, I got pretty straight teeth, but I never had braces. But she, she needs some super braces, and she needs like pretty she much. She needs anything. dynamite, and you just start. All she over. needs facial reconstruction. How about that? Nah, her face. Her face is alright. Her face is alright. But yeah, if I put a, a paper bag over it with just, a smiley face on it, she got a man <laughs> face. A man face nah, with some man mm-hmm. tits with a mangina. Yeah, let's see. That's My fourteen-year-old nephew got bigger titties than that. Man, it makes me judge a taste, Damn. man. <laughs> like seriously, like really, really. In my bo- in, like, overall, I messed up. Hot because I'm looking at what you like, and it's not it's not looking good for you. Man. It's not looking good for you. Oh my god! You like this? Oh my god! That's like, not her. That, that can't be her. Did. That S- last picture. F.C. Murphy is the best. Open your eyes. <laughs> no, yeah, Joyce says like she needs thing. to join the UFC. I ain't fighting shit. that bitch. Shit, I'm looking at this bitch. Smile at me, I'm running out the cage. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's not enough slap <laughs> on my computer for this picture. It gives the fucking kiss of death a whole new meaning. <laughs> Melina's fatality ain't got nothing on this hoe. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn, Damn man, y'all made my day. Yeah. Y'all make things, y'all make things a lot better harsh. for me. Yo. Hey, man, hey, listen, nah, man, nah, nah, nah. that, that harsh, was hard shit to show us that. I want to wake up to them. No, after, 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 like you know, today I realized I'm like, damn. What the you know what? I, I didn't take you. I, what I said about yeah, you. What the f- well, why didn't you listen to me the first fucking time when I was telling you a grip ago? I mean, but nah, I want to cuddle with my man, bitch. I want to cuddle with that furriness. Nah, you don't want to listen to today. You nah, gotta have on, every on, other on, nigga on, tell nah, you the nah, same nah, fucking nah, thing nah, I was telling on. you. Nah, come on, all right, nah. It yeah, is obvious. Again. It is obvious that her father was an Ewok. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. <laughs> It is obvious. I think it was. Uh, I think the name oh, was sorry, Wicked. Man. I mean, who did he get drunk? Uh, I don't know. I think her dad died. Though, real, real talk. So let's not talk about that. Yeah. Please. Okay. We'll, we'll pass on that. I, I, hey, I, I, D I, man, if you come over to this side, man, I'll hook you up with a good female, man. man. I don't need to get hooked up. Yo, I'll tell you though, with her. Well, you obviously yeah. ain't doing a good job on your own. You Shit. D nice. D nice. D nice. You know what? I think you should do. Oh, you know what? I have to go to bed here soon. But you know what? Get her phone number. Tomorrow, uh, Friday night. Oh, we'll uh, you're not her. calling her. We are no, calling no, her. No, no, no. Nah, she ain't gonna like. Nah, chill out. She ain't gonna like that. And not, no, I'm not, no, no, no. I'm not gonna be Angela. real Yo, with remember, her. She's not. She's not like. She's not Angela. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn man. right, she ain't. Let me take you under my wing because you look like you need some help. No, listen, man, listen, man. Uh, but seriously, right, man, you, make make it like Marvel and take the assist. Is that a challenge? Hold on, fam. Hold on, fam. Hold on, hold on. Is that a challenge? He's like, you say like you want a money man. Yeah, man, this, this man growth. needs like anti air to cover the entire screen. <laughs> yo. Yo, we, all right, Perfect Legend, you say in New York, don't it? Perfect Sounds. Legend. Yo, Perfect. Huh? You stay in New York? Yeah. Where you stay at? You stay in New York? No, I live in Ohio now. Oh, Ohio? Oh. I'm sorry. I live in Ohio. What? <laughs> Ohio? Cleveland? I was in New York. Okay, okay, it's straight. But that means you know you girls. Come on, because New York, yo, New York got nothing but fine girls. Over here in Florida, uh, <laughs> I'm talking about you South Florida. Mud ducks. Like, wait, 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 no, no, all the fine bitches in fucking Florida, and you pick that no, mud duck? No, 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 hear me out. In the, I live, I live, all right, now, see, other than my city, that's what choosing the mud duck. No, ain't nothing here. There's nothing here. Like, really? Yo, all your excuses. Yo, no, Florida. I don't care you were drunk Ohio, or blinded. I understand Ohio, I, I'm, but man. you know what I'm saying? Like, the reason I, the reason I started talking to her real tough because, I mean, she got a booty, so. But, you know, but she told me she was a virgin, so no. I'm like, what the fuck? The booty is no. not supposed to be on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Shit. I'm <laughs> sorry, d Night. Over. Man, I'm not. But you know, you God, know, you can God, do better than that. Well, you know what? Like, next time, next time, next time, stop bringing oh. home monsters, mom, and, and and get a nice girl, you know, and bring her home. Hey, hey d Nice, I'm, like, I'm offering you the help, man. You know what? And that's bad fast. because I actually like monster. You know, he was fast. d Nice, man, I, I, take the help, man. He the monster shit. This <laughs> <laughs> rat, you like? Oh, come get this. Yeah, that's the sound she make when she's gonna she come on you. Yeah. She, she don't it's raw. You know what? You know what? Hey, nah, you know what? D nice. You should just go ahead on, and you should just go ahead and, and you know what? You should just go ahead. Oh, you just want to go ahead and R Kelly. Just go ahead and R Kelly that shit. You want to see a big difference though? No big difference or what? My ex, ex? ex, yeah, my 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 before ex and then my ex now. Okay. From the, that was her. You just saw my ex, and you want to see my um my other ex? And you yeah. see a big difference though. So why are you gonna show? Uh, hey. so the, no, all it is is just gonna make you look stupid for downgrading. Oh, Kelly, you know what? Yes. You know what? Yeah. Just, all right, <laughs> you I, need I to R. Kelly I'm her. See, I like D nice. Listen, man. I'm here. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to R. Kelly her. Piss on you. That's right. Yes, piss on you. Piss on you. Piss on you. Piss on you. Drip, 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 drip. <laughs> <laughs> I want to pee in your food. Your body. Your YouTube. It's a portal party. party. <laughs> <laughs> this is a remix you. edition. This is a song drip, about drip, pissing. Drip, drip, drip. Piss on you. Piss on you. Piss on you. I'm sorry. Oh man. Yo, man. Oh, my Hershey stain. Oh, my Hershey stain. 
<laughs> nah, the Hershey stains is in her breath. Nah, mm-hmm. real speech. Uh, yeah, I, I downgraded myself hard, yo. Like, you know, yeah, so you're not doing anything, so, so we don't need to see it. I'm trying to help you out. Now take the assist and leave it alone. Just say, this is your one ugly bitch. You ain't never going to do it again, and we'll move on. <laughs> Everybody, look, look at it. Look at, take a look at Monster. <laughs> you shady here. Oh my god, yo, I gotta go to New York in fucking five hours. I'll be flying to New York. What the fuck am I doing here? Please find something else. So what? You're gonna sleep on the plane anyway. Good friend. So what, two hours? Oh, you missed Monster's part. I'm gonna go on my sidekick. <laughs> go on your sidekick. Sure, you can walk while flying. Plane? Actually, uh,. In some planes you can. It some. On, yeah, JetBlue you some. can. Yeah, like JetBlue you can. <laughs> uh, nah, I don't okay. have a psychic. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't have a PSP. So I mean, what else? Is cluster there? bomb. Cluster bomb. I'll just be take a picture of her and just stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> and think about what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> you need to repent for your sins, brother. <laughs> You are a bad yeah. person because of that. Yo, she, she's that bad, really? <laughs> yes. Hell fucking yeah. <laughs> I'll take our word for it. I fucked up. You yes, know what? you did. Yo, yes, you yo, did. yo, Ben. Mm-hmm. That's ben. the first step. Give me, a, give me a slap, yo. Please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Well, I, what I can slap you, you at Vegas. Yeah, no, I'm straight. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Oh, yes. I'm, that's I, a slap I'm, for the I'm next excited. I'm going to Vegas, yo. I'm going to fucking Vegas. I'll be 21 by then. Uh, nice, all right. man. You do? Just be don't nice, pick no man. ugly bitches you know, at fucking Vegas either. You know what I'm oh, oh, oh. Not even possible. Nah, nah, nah. Repent. You have to pay. Hey, hey, I Vegas found. Hey, I found that girl's father. Oh, don't do it, dog. Remember? Uh, I saw it. Nah, yeah. I saw hey, it. Uh, uh, ben, don't do it. Ben, don't do it. She died, yo. She died. Yeah, no. I, mean, her, I mean, her dad died. Oh, oh okay. Oh, then yeah, it's her yeah. mother then. Okay, Man, here we go. I asked a <laughs> <laughs> wrong joke. I found it. Let's take a look at the. Uh, take a look, take I a look at the very link. wrong joke for that. I'm not going to say it because I go to hell. All right, <laughs> go, go ahead and click. Oh, there's a lot of jokes I know that you can go. To. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 can't do it. Nah, that, that, it's such a nice setup too. What's wrong? This nigga moment was brought to you in part by Bunk Eye. <laughs> hey, hold on, hey guys. Um, I need your advice here. Is it fucked up if my my cousin, right? He got off work at like twelve thirty in the morning from Target. Now, in Florida, like it's not New York. Like the buses don't run twenty four seven. They fucking stop running at eleven o'clock. Now, hear me, hear me out. He gave me this call, right, saying that he's stranded. On my way home from a pretty much hard day at work, this guy was like, hey, I'm stranded. You know, I need a ride. I'm like, and he has a brother, right? So I'm like, okay, uh, why don't you ask Patrick? That's my, uh, that's my cousin, too. He was like, nah, he's saying he's busy. I'm like, busy? Oh, he, yeah, he kind of fucked up. Even though that's too fucked up here, now nah, he pretty much depends on me to pick him up. Now, here's what happened. When I was considering it, my fucking brakes... Did not work at all. So I like, oh shit, I'm in deep the shit. So shit. I had to, I had to pull over. <laughs> I had to pull over and check my brakes for a second. And then Harry, he, Harry he comes get mad, get mad at me walking home. So I'm like, you know what? You know, you should get a car, man. Save up, get a car, start buying goals and all that shit. You know, he got a full gold mouth and shit, spending all his paychecks. I'm like, you know what? That's balling. your fault. Just, yo, that's not balling if you spend your whole fucking target check. <laughs> gold what? Just gold necklace or what? He got gold necklace, gold. Who, gold who teeth. wears gold anymore? Gold teeth. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, he he hey, gold, gold is tight back when I was in seventh grade. Yo, gold, gold was tight when Slick Rick had it on. And Mr. T, yo, Mr. T was rocking that gold, man. Yeah. That was shot, you was down. Like yeah, so basically, crazy. the moral of the story is fuck him. He, yeah, I'll say fuck him. So he walked home, so I, he's on my he talking to me again. I'm like, nigga, watch. And then yeah, here he comes. so it looks like you were picking no, up a female no, cousin. Me <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, he ain't. He acting like nah, one. See, yeah, he's yeah, he pretty much being a bitch. So he was like, this morning, like today, like uh, two hours ago, talking about he stranded. And I was like, yo, I can't pick you up. My brakes are still messed up. And he's like, oh, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I ain't gonna walk. I'm gonna fucking sleep in the fucking bus stop. I'm like, uh, <laughs> so my cousin's gonna be a hobo. And you know, he no, I'm not dissing on him, but he you know he ain't graduated high school and shit. He's like 19. I'm like, yo. This is not where you're supposed to be at. How do you not to graduate high school? Yo, in Florida, there's a thing called an FCAT. This is for like this. If you don't get a 300 or higher, no, I'm sorry, a 320. No, it's three, I'm right. It's 300 or higher. You 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 don't graduate. 300 out of what? what the fuck? Out of 500. So pretty much, if you don't get a C. So if you don't get 60 percent. You don't get a C. If you don't, yeah, if you don't hey, pretty much get... Hey, I know this is, like, random as hell, but why is Kale using Yang? What the hell are you talking about? He's using Yang. And that's, yo, Kale, because he likes, hey. he, he has, he has... He saw like, me playing, he knows he's nice. He knows his yeah. skills, but... Man, don't no fucking diss Kale. Uh-huh. Kofi? No, 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 K.O. <laughs> Okay, oh, oh, the nigga that actually Japanese wins. Player. Oh, yeah. oh, they be Kofi. You know, my bad. Yeah, he's he just bored, I guess. I don't know. You know how Japanese players like, are. Last year, SBO, he used KO. I, was, I mean, Yang, and I'm like, what the fuck? Can you let some guy named Boss use Yun? I'm like, wow, okay. Yeah. It won't bother me, no. It's no, it's, it's, it's random. I'm like, what the fuck? Yo, well, either way, yo, I'll still lose. Man, no, come on. Yo, who won, <laughs> yo, who won that fucking, that, that Houston only SBO qualifier tournament? Uh, they only did Tekken in... For Tekken? Caliber so yeah. far. NorCal. No, no, I think... No, I heard Crow won, though. On this, on no, yeah, Crow's the Tekken one. Oh, I heard Crow didn't even play. What the, what the fuck is up yeah, with his, that? He didn't have to play. His teammates won. <laughs> <straight>. <laughs> this is only it's like a team. two versus... Three. It's pretty much a two-man team that just raked y'all. <laughs> that raked the whole fucking... Damn, that's crazy. But I heard, like, you gotta go to Houston. Like, in, all right, for example, if you're not from... Houston, Texas, or pretty much Texas in general, you're fucked. Because why is that? I heard that you have to, like, to get qualified, you have to put fifteen hundred thousand dollars, a uh, fifteen hundred thousand deposit. I'm sorry, fifteen hundred dollar deposit, and then you have uh, to. Nah, it's five hundred dollars deposit. Five hundred deposit dollar deposit for what? And then no, th- and then you have to fly to Houston. Uh, you have to fly to Houston. You have to fly to Houston. And you, then, you have to fly out of Houston. You got to leave out of Houston and go to Japan. And you have to have a yeah, so, yeah, so pretty much you have to spend a, t- a round trip a round trip ticket and $500. I mean, I don't Aren't mean, they paying for the first ticket of all, to Japan? No, we they're actually, only paying for the ticket actually, to Japan. We actually already had this Japan. discussion. I mean, here's the thing about it is. I ain't saying that Emotion Gear or whoever that dude named you know, is, you know, is a great guy or bad guy or in between. But at the same time, I mean... You know what? If fine, if you don't want to put the five hundred dollar deposit down, you don't want to fly out of Houston. Fine, pay for your own ticket then. No, yeah, hey, but see, the, the problem is, is that he's one of the qualifiers, though. So you got to go through yeah, all the exactly. books anyway. Right, but, but I mean, even if he was just one of the qualifiers, fine. He didn't have to do that. He could just say, "Hey, this is the you know the qualifiers, and then whoever wins, you know, they don't have to take it up on this offer unless someone can prove to me that that people cannot pay for their own tickets. Then I don't really buy that. You know, oh man, this is all these because after all, he are footing the tickets, you know, which is probably like a grand in itself, and he's footing the hotel and the travel and the um and the food, I think, or something like that. So I, mean, I don't yeah, think that's the I, problem. I, I, I think the, the problem is that it seems like he's making these rules up and then blaming it on the sponsors and acting like as if he can't. And then when people ask him to break down the specifics of the questions, he just ignores the questions completely. Even guys, you know, I'm not talking about random guys. I'm talking about guys like Arturo, mm-hmm. uh, Choi, and guys who posted this. Posting the thread and he just completely ignored the questions. Well, but just one hey, of those things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But to me, that's okay. Here's what I here's the problem I have with that. I mean, I could definitely see why people might have questions on whether or not, um, you know, is he being truthful when he says that the sponsors, you know, forced him to do this, or did he do this so it would benefit 
um, one, you know, you know, the Houston players or whatever over than anyone else. I mean, I can't tell you for truth or not in that matter. However, though, it's one of those things where, you know, unless, unless to me, unless you are forbidden from paying for your own ticket and going there yourself, I don't see what's the big problem. I mean, you know, it's one of those things. The problem is, is that it's a regional qualifying event, but here we are, right. and it's being limited to Houston. But, the region, right. the and also, and also, like, pe like people that the come on, the participators from especially out of state, you know, they save their money for this tournament, the qualifier, right? Right. And not only and not seeing this coming, you know, they they they, they expect to be fully sponsored. And okay, I mean, okay, they, okay, yeah, okay. The why? Really okay, let, that's, that's that's a question. All right, include me in because I don't go to the tournament, so maybe it's something I don't know. So right, you know, why would I? You know, why would I go to a tournament for SBO? Why well, know the SBO is being held in Japan, and think that I'm going to be somehow totally sponsored for the trip? Because that's how it worked everywhere else when we did that's this. That's how. That's. I mean, no. I mean, I'm saying that's pretty much how it works. I mean, if you now, have, look, you could have done it earlier. Hey, meeting, thing, can I jump in here? Yeah, go, go ahead, Rich. Okay, where is the thing? Normally, actually, I don't think. Normally, I don't think they are sponsored. But what happens is that there's this effort to get everyone there. And that's sort of what I think the player saw was missing from this qualifier. The effort to just say, you know, we got these tickets, but in spite of that, you know, wherever you come from, if you qualify, we're going to do the, you know, we're going to be a team and we're going to put this together and make sure you get to Houston or get to Japan and where you have to go. And I asked this exact question on the forum and it was never answered. The thing is with the flight is that he said originally that you have to leave from Houston, and secondly, that there's an agenda that they have to stay together the whole time. And then later he posted that I don't care where you fly out of, but there's still an agenda. So that was never cleared up, and that just adds to the whole confusion of here, so that people, again, they feel that if they aren't part of, you know, if they aren't, like, all friends with here, there's, you know, there's some missing information here. Are they going to miss something? And then, again, if, uh, since this agenda and being together a team is are these rules. The impression is that if they don't if they don't stick to that, then there's you know, their spot is in danger or they might get their deposit held or something like that. And because that was not cleared up, that is the problem people are having that aren't from the area. Right. So right. let me ask a question yeah, though. In the other two in the other two SBO qualifiers, who paid for the uh, the tickets and so forth? Uh, um, for, for what I'm saying, Empire, Empire did pay. Okay, so we're obviously we're Empire, not going to count out them because believe, they're not going to sponsor someone outside of Empire. So, right. okay, so it Empire is Empire one of members, them. Empire member one. They did um so. fundraiser tournaments and stuff like that. Okay, right. They did fundraiser tournaments. I know in uh in the West Coast, I they were doing yeah they were doing the fundraiser tournaments. They're making a DVD and they right. have a, they just have the kind of you know they're raising money for their team. I don't know. If, yeah. Um, I think um, Troy is paying for some. I don't know. You know, don't quote me on any of that. That's, these are just the things that I remember seeing. And yeah, I on East Coast, I think Andy is actually, uh, you know, doing a lot and or all of that cost to fly them out. But my hair is here, maybe some guys, maybe you guys can explain it to me. Emotion Gear has, to, from what I've seen, not that great of a rep, reputation on SRK. All right. So my question is, if I'm going to an event sponsored by someone who, you know, people people will classify him as being shady and greedy and so forth, why would I expect him to sponsor us if you you know that if he's going to sponsor you, there's going to be a whole lot of strings attached? Well, the, this is something you can't just it, yeah it's, because the tournament, to the tournament spot. yeah it's not like he ego where if you don't qualify you go in, you go anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, you can, but there's one spot for everyone who's not who doesn't get a spot in the tournament. There's right. like one tournament for this one spot in the main uh, tournament. Right. The yeah, one spot and that's it. And like, because I mean, Emotion Gear he got this qualified spot. So who can't like? Everyone's like, what the fuck? He got the spot, so they got to go. You know, if they want to qualify, they want their chance. They got to go. And also, you know. I mean, I mean, at least what Emotion Gear should try to do is, you know, at least trying to like come up with a lot of the money. You know what I mean? Like five hundred dollars deposit. I understand if if that's the like the last 
the last resort. I know it's the last resort. I'm like, okay, you know, five hundred dollars, I could do it, you know. But you know, he just straight up said it's like, yo, you got to deposit five hundred dollars, and I'm like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And, well, the worst part is, is that he announced yeah. it late. If you would have told yeah, a month then, yeah, ago, then, that he, that he, will he, probably be yeah, he, um, he the thing late, that, so. that that I, I you know see if I was him, I would not have done this because uh, the it been it's it's too it would be cutting cutting it too close because when what well, he said in that one post, he was still trying to finalize things and everything, and even down to the, the to the day that he's been he posted, you know, and I mean when and, and I mean well, SPO is what a month away or something. Well, yeah. SBO is in August, but the qualifiers yeah. are early June, I think. And one yeah, most of the qualifiers start starts Yeah, the qualifiers are June. Qualifier. Okay, so you guys don't leave until August. Yeah. They won't they went leave until August. The qualifiers, one was last weekend, right? and one is early June. And that's right. really a problem. Well, okay, so, so, we, so we still so. got a couple of months. So my so my, pro, my question is this, is if you got – all right, he is – I mean, I, okay, okay, that kind of changes things just a bit, though, because he obviously he wants to get the he got the SPO qualifiers spot, you know, and um, and I could understand the five hundred dollar deposit because whether or not the sponsors are paying for it or he's paying for it out of his own pocket, the fact is, it's either way it's getting paid, and I don't think it's unreasonable to have to put a, a, a down payment on there to secure it because you know if someone if if people flake out on him he's paying for a ticket that he probably cannot get a refund for well it's sort of well it's working that way both ways actually um and that's part of the problem because even though they have until august to work it out the problem isn't really the that part it's the part now where people have Either already gotten their trip, or they're, um, you know, they're about to hit buy on Expedia or wherever, and they're, you know, then we, they really don't know what the prize of the tournament is, whether it's something they want to compete for. And because of the nature of SBO, at least the way I understand it, is that whoever wins, like, there's no subs. If you win the tournament, you're the representative, and if you don't go, that you just, there's just no one in that spot. Yeah, you can't have some six spot. Well, well, okay, but 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 see, uh, what doesn't add up on that is how can you go for SPO qualifier that you know is going to be Japan and not know whether or not you, you you really intend on going or not? It's not whether you intend on going. It's whether it's because it's not you know the feeling that it's not entirely up to them. <laughs> well, that they're saying it's not, and that that is another question I asked. I and we said if. FMJ, you losing me on this because okay. I, I'm, I'm asking something. Is like if I'm going to if I'm going to SBO uh, you know, uh, qualifiers down in Houston, and you know I'm a pretty good player, and you know, and I know that I have a different chance of going. I mean, I'm going to have a contingency plan on how I'm going to get to Japan, and you know, I would actually probably discuss this even before I go. Well, that's the thing. That's what the discussion was. And let's say you say, okay, I want to have a contingency plan. And so I can get to Japan, you know, no matter what. So I want to go. I'm going to qualify. I'm going to play in Japan. And you go to, you know, OSIS contingency plan, and there's no reply. Yet there's a rule saying that you can't just go to SBO. When you qualify for that team, there's agenda. There's other things you got to do. There's other things the team is doing. And that's all part of the deal. But well, my, here's my question is, if I would have went down there and won, let's say, third strike or something down there mm -hmm. at the Houston t SPO to qualifiers, and let's say, you know, I'm doing well for myself. I want to pay for my own ticket in my own hotel. Can I do that? Yeah, you can do that. Well, yeah, we don't know if you can do that. Because where do you have to go from the hotel? You know, it's one of those things. What if you, you get, well, well, you get in after something on the agenda? You miss an event that is something integral to this team that's part of this deal going to Japan that's the, that's the confusion yeah he did have a lot of confusing things about them being together we don't know if we can, like the it was you know maybe it was discussed in private but you know those people didn't stop posting so my assumption is that we don't know can you stay in your own hotel can you get your own flight can you just, if, I mean, is the only thing showing oh, up there? Oh, so it's know, not clear, it's not clear whether or not you can go out and do the thing on your own. 
Not completely. He, he says you can take the plane, but he doesn't say whether or not, you know, once you get there, you can be on your own. My question is this. Why does it, I mean, okay, I don't get it. He, he, he got the qualifier spots. What gives him the, what gives him the authority to decide, you know, how people go to Japan? I mean, what, I mean, they qualify, poof. But, okay. Because he's I mean, paying for the trip. That's, in, no, 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 no. That, I said, I said on my own. If I'm paying for my own trip, who who is he to say you know how I go and how or should I be sticking together with the rest of the people because no I remember him saying that he if you want to go on your own you can but as far as this, as it goes with him um, with traveling if you're gonna go with them as a team that, on, in the rules you, have, you have to be with do whatever they tell you to do at all times you're no wondering off or nothing welcome to Alpha Radio who's this hey can you hear me this is FMJ oh uh, what's up man. Okay. okay, I heard you, you got I you got cut off at the end. Okay, um, I actually got to pee. I'll be right back. What's up, FM? Who's this? D nice man, the one and only. Oh, what's up? Mustache <laughs> loving. Sit your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, FM, you ready for Evil East? You coming, right? No, I live in Vegas. The fuck. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, he lives in Vegas, and he'll manage to not be at Evo Finals again. <laughs> I, I don't know how you dodge the Evo Finals. You live in Vegas. It's just a mind-boggling. Dodge it? What do you mean dodge it? He flew to be there last year, and he was in Vegas, and he didn't show up. And I was sad. Lazy ass. Uh, as in not at all. As in. Okay. As okay. in not at all. Yes. He didn't show you know, up. He was with his hoes, man. I, well, you know, I'm going to leave you guys to talk here in a few minutes because I got to go to bed. But, but one, of those thing, one of those things, yeah. But one That's of the things guys, I really wanted to I say is that since you guys have about what three months until you until until these players got to leave to go to Japan, why not come up with an alternative way of coming up with the money? Well, that's the thing. It's not three. It's and it's that part is the prize for this tournament, basically. And the and the thing is, people are planning to go to the tournament pending this this prize to win this prize. Wait a minute, so you're so saying that the actual prize for you saying that the actual it's prize the for the tournament is the trip itself? Yeah. Yes. Is that was that was that always understood by the players? I mean, I mean, yeah. what I'm yeah, because saying is playing for a spot. But you're playing for a spot, but when you win the tournament, you you get the trip. That's the extra prize, really. So that's that. That was how. That's oh. concrete. Like before the tournament even took place, you know, you guys know that if you win, you automatically, you know, get sponsored for the trip. Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah. If they See, this is so, what I'm talking like, about. I, I mean, hope yes. that. I mean, it's Hold like on. all of, all of the answers are kind of sort of. Eh. You know, I would say this much. I would I would because. put it on the motion gear. For not spelling it out totally in the beginning, and the thing about it is that if he could not have give give if he could not have gave details on what he was doing um, in time for the tournament, then he should not have um, agreed to uh, get. The, he should not have done the qualifier spots because that would be doing a disservice to the players. Well, I see, the thing these... is, if you read his rules, it doesn't re it doesn't sound like rules that sponsors would give him. A lot of those rules are ridiculous. I mean, you, you know what? It's one of those things Wait where I, 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 I read this the rules. Was regulated I read by the rules. SEO organizers to begin with. You know, they, I, they regulate certain a certain certain to a certain degree, but the, they once they give you the spots to to hand out, you, I think you, you they know give what? You, your own you, know, uh, you know what? Though some of those rules are definitely not are definitely not. <laughs> Uh, you know, part of something that are demanded by the sponsor. Some of the rules are are him because I guess in his mind, um, this is my guess, is that hey, this is you know, this is perfect zero sponsorship. You know, we're sponsoring these players, and I guess he wants everyone to behave so you know, so it doesn't make him look bad. That's what looks like it is to me. It would be a lot Man, easier for him to do, do that. It would have been a lot easier for him to come off like that. He would have been a little bit more mature. Oh, I agree. I don't like the way he write. I did, I did not like the way he. I did not like the way he wrote. He worded it at all. It was very in, antagonistic, and you know, and insulting. So, um, you know, wait, wait, what? Done. What did he do now? 
No, uh, I, we, we, I we just was, woke up, so I'm just like, what the hell? No, we were just talking about, you know, what we talked about the other night regarding the post that he made about the rules for the trip to Japan. And, you know, um, I did not know. Thank you for clearing that up, FMJ. I didn't know that the prize was the actual trip itself. I mean, that, that was something. I thought that the prize was money. You know, no. um, but 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 it's for a trip itself. Then, oh, in see. fact, he said he was taking away the money prizes, the in the indoor skill. Okay, but then he charges five hundred dollars, you know, deposit and thirty dollars entry fee. Yeah, what's up with the thirty? Expense, yeah, yeah, what's up with the five hundred dollars deposit? That's what that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. But you know what? I, the, well, I, 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 I thought I thought he I, meant by you need to get five hundred dollars at least to like. Pretty much cover yourself for the week, for the, the four days, four or five days over no, there. No, I think that five hundred dollars a guarantee that you will actually show up for the trip, because if he, if because it, I don't know what, whether sure? or not that he's purchasing the tickets himself or the sponsors are paying for it. I don't know, but either way, you know, if someone does not show up for no, you know, I don't the trip, think it's that. I think he's worrying more about them doing damage to hotel rooms or doing something stupid in Japan. Well, because well, once the sponsors thought, pay for I something, they're not worried about losing that money. Comment, yeah, I saw a travel agency or something, I think, mentioned in the post. And, you know, I've worked with them before, and they all require a deposit before you go. So I, I, you know, if that is the case, then, you know, I've, I've dealt with that before. I can, you know, I can vouch that. I say, okay, you're working with this true, travel company, and... When you make trips with them, they require a deposit, and that's what it has to be. But again, that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't being clear, and combined with everything else, just made a mess. But you I'm know not what? Trying, but you know, that's why I'm not trying to tell people how to run their business. I'm just oh, saying what okay, the problem so was. On the, on when you say that, when I'm, you guys say that it's the trip to Japan, is it just the flight, or is it the uh, is it the flight, flight hotel, and plus everything. room? Oh, okay. It's um, pretty, much, pretty much all the on that part. Flight, hotel, food. Uh, food. food Is that... Right? Yeah, he well, said he wouldn't leave his players hungry, he said. Yeah. Well, so, but, food, okay. you know what? Here's the when thing you give away these type of type of prizes, like food is never ever included. That's just like whatever. If he's saying food, then he's gonna be in more trouble than he is. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I wouldn't eat in Japan anyway. I'd rather be starving. Guys. But you know what? The thing about it though is, before anyone puts down five hundred dollars, you better read over their contract. Hey, oh, that's yeah. why people ask him questions. Oh, yeah, they will ask con- people yeah, specific about what they can do with that money. He's like, people post and say, okay, we, we don't mind the $500, but can you be more specific to what will make us lose our deposit? And then he just posts with, you know, some stupid reply and doesn't answer the question. It well, if he does not give you a contract, you don't give him that $500, and then you, you know, and, and um, because you know what, uh, you, Anyone out there, if you give him five hundred dollars and you do not sign the contract, you got absolutely very little, no recourse if he ever keeps your money for whatever reason. I think so he's like, like, you know, he can be like, yo, he fought on the airplane. I want five hundred dollars. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, no, it could be something exactly, very, exactly. You know, I, I mean, I think, if I think he absolutely loses it, the money, or or he gets robbed, or filed bankruptcy, or whatever. The case case may be, you know, you guys do not do not give him a penny until you see the contract. And you know what? And there right. are people out there that have legal services. <laughs> that, um, the lawyer can look over the contract and and look and see if it's really valid or not. Yo, um, I got you, discounts on legal services. What's good? You know, What's so good? 20% you, you, you off. definitely good? want to make sure <laughs> doing, that you you that they you know that you that you want to read over that contract uh, with, and go over with a fine tooth comb so you're making sure that we're, how exactly your money is presented and not only how can you lose your money but after the trip is completed how long does he have to reimburse you do not have him leave that open because he may take forever like to, to get months. you your money back you'll end up, you'll end up like me with fucking that. waiting for like two years for fucking um my gym master to fucking give me my money back. Don't, please, oh, you missed that. Here we go again. Oh, here we go. Again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I was just making a comment. If, if Ben wants to recap what happened, because I just as happened. long as you don't say snippity snap, man, we're all good. Yo, <laughs> leave snippity snap alone. <laughs> as gay as up hell. earlier, Alex. You missed a good um. Shit is gay. Uh, man, you, fashion. Missed, you missed him trying to rap. Snippity snap. <laughs> Please, no. Oh, Hell no. Leave it Hell alone. no. Yo, I'll what? leave it alone when you say you'll never say that shit again. I will never say that that phrase again. I will never say that phrase again. Good. You should be banned for saying snap or snippity. 
<laughs> Snaps, Dibbly, Double Gay. You get double penetration for that type of gayness. Oh, hey, that's a cold-blooded. Yo, what did I... Yo, honestly, if we can do a quick recap, what did I miss with... Um... Oh, hold on. For his, okay, here's here? a quick recap of the show when I wasn't even here. Gym East Master Coast. sucks. <laughs> in the show. No, because um, here's what happened. East Coast versus West Coast. Here's something you that happened. That. I didn't want to... try for us going off. Oh, no, no. I, you want, I can tell you what happened with me in Triforce the other day. Yesterday. Because mm-hmm. he threatened me, pretty much. Because mm-hmm. what happened was, um, we both do Smash events. I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Alright, peace. I'm going right, to get a nut. Good night, guys. <laughs> oh. That's go what ahead. he's going to do. You know he got to go to work early, man. Go ahead. Oh, fuck yeah, go, go get some sleep, man. Leave this open. <laughs> I need to chill with some people. He is leaving it open. Go ahead. Alright. Oh, nigga. Alright, so what happened was. Oh, yeah, bet. Um, what happened was. Um. J- um Triforce. Triforce has, has his other little store called Nightland. And they do 